Okay, are we are we alive, chat? Chat, do we exist? Hello? 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 Okay, yeah. So, hello everyone. Um I don't I'm very surprised by what just happened. So, basically either one of these two songs is copyrighted enough that they get this, that they like strike if you play it. I don't I don't know. I I have listened to both DA games and JT music songs on this channel and they just claim it get you know the revenue doesn't go to me obviously and it just it works anyway. Um like if you I don't know like some of you are obviously coming from Zach but like I've listened to over a hundred FNAF songs on this channel by now and we did like 20 poppy songs we did like 15 band band songs and none of it has ever gotten the stream taken down so I don't know what the deal here is if we have another I mean we might I don't know I wish I could know maybe I can know let me see if I got an email or something maybe I can know what it which it was my, I'm, I was saying whenever in the time between us starting the stream up again, um, like I personally have the theory that because Build Our Machine is in one of the Bendy games, maybe it's more like protected by copyright. Maybe. Like that. That's that's my only guess. Yeah, I don't know, cause I stream a lot and I've watched a lot of stuff and I've listened to a lot of songs. The only time that a stream has ever been taken down during stream for copyright is when we were watching Tony Cry Night. That is the only time that has happened. Which is so funny. Also, yeah, people are saying Can't Be Erased is in Bendy Chapter 4. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, Well, I guess let's hope none of these are in... Bendy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It's I'm really surprised by that. Because we've listened to probably 10 JT music songs and like 25 plus DA game songs on here. What the fuck is this? Why? I, Escape the Nightmare. That's not, no, this is not what I wanted. I want to... Did I accidentally close my uh, tier list? Where, where, am I, where, am I, where am I tier list at? No, it's there. Oh, how, why did I, how did this happen? Okay, whatever. Uh, all right. All right, let's. We're gonna go. Whoa, whoa. We're gonna continue as normal, uh, and hopefully nothing goes wrong. I, I don't. I don't know. I also, On my hands and knees, begging right now. I uh, missed a donation. Uh, thank you. It's Genicris Music for the five dollars. Damn, the Federal Bureau Bureau of Investigation got you for real. I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. It, um, I don't know. But all right, where are we ranking this one though? Where are we ranking the Jates music? I... Can't be right. Uh, F tier for getting to... No. Um... <laughs> Personally, I think it's a B tier song. I think it's a B tier song. I'm good with that. I was between C and B, just because there are parts that bring it down for me. But that, uh, but you could argue what keeps it out of A, you know? Someone yeah, said C for copyrights. <laughs> <laughs> see, I just think... I think the song has really high highs and pretty damn mediocre lows. Mm -hmm. It never it never gets like really bad in the parts that I think aren't the best, but it definitely dips in quality around the middle and picks up again near the end. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. I think it's a solid B tier song. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Maniac Fire Name for the seven dollars. As I was gonna say before that happened, why do I now have I what the fuck are you on? Why do I now have the image of Henry dressed as like Doctor mm -hmm. of Thugonomics John Cena? What? Get therapy. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know. Okay. Um, thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. <laughs> you hurt my brain, though. Okay, next up we got CG5. Someone I have criticized quite a bit in the past. However, their poppy song, Poison Blooms, I was pretty nice to. I quite like that one. I really enjoy listening to it. It has a very cool and angelic sound to it. Um, and as we've established, Bendy often has, like, a certain sound to it in the fandom. So, you know, maybe he'll work with that sound and we'll be able to uh, 
you know, maybe, maybe this will be the a, a peak CG five moment. Um, Absolutely, I've got high hopes, and I hope the stream stays up. <laughs> I don't know what to Please. expect. I don't know what to expect now. This might turn up. This might end up becoming five different vods. We'll see what happens. I trust that you guys will bear with me. <laughs> Streaming these songs is scarier than playing the games. That's now fully true. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm just still confused because this has never happened. And we've listened to like 150 songs on this channel. So many questions, but there's only one to be answered. Completely different vibe right away. Yeah, it's so interesting. Oh, this is cool. Ooh. Yeah, I'm still running into the similar problem that I usually have with CG5, which is he isn't the most expressive singer, but he's making it work really well with the, like, production choices, you know? I also think, like, the more, like, sort of sad and monotone, like, sound of his voice actually fits, because it seems like this song is about, like, Joey Drew and the depression of trying to, like, make a new spectacle. Yeah, and this is, I believe, after Bendy was finished, so I think... Definitely yeah, this is footage of chapter five. Yeah, this is chapter five. So there's gonna be more to work with, which is nice. Uh thank you, Potato Guy, for the five dollars. I will make sure to add Cartoon Cat by Trevor Henderson. <laughs> I'm higher, only to see a crooked empire. Together, I like this. I really like this actually. Yeah, this is, like, possibly the best CG5 song I've heard so far. This is actually really good. I'm really enjoying this. I love the- I love how different this one feels from every Bendy song I've heard. This has, like, a completely unique tone. Yeah, and it's also just different from a lot of what I've heard of CG5, which is also always a pleasure to hear. That's something I actually should just give him, is that, like, although, I like, he- I there are a lot, a lot of flops from him, in my opinion. He's definitely- of the fan of like the fandom song space, he's on the more versatile end for sure. Like he definitely experiments with different sounds more than a lot of people are willing to. Mm-hmm. Also, thank you, Moot, for the five thousand CLP. I have no idea what that means, but it's yellow, so I know it's above five. Uh, can you put Sans <laughs> Undertale on the deck? Okay, I will do that. But yeah, um. Jump scare warning, please, that cartoon cat scared me. I'm sorry. I, I, look, he's just a scrunkly. What's the problem? He's dancing like an Adventure Time character. Come on. <laughs> he does look like... But yeah, I... Oh, hey, you're right, Toast. Simply dropping in to state the fact that Art of Darkness is an easy S tier. Well, that is two away, so we'll get to that. Thank you for stopping by. But I'm really enjoying this, actually, so I want to I wanna let this run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Time it costed us What happened to the worlds we made We lost the spotlight No more old songs In the night You always tried so hard But you moved in a different direction You should have pushed much harder I mean no ill intention This is really cool I'm really loving this <laughs> I really like the song Yeah, this is like, I don't know, I, I'm at a loss for words right now because I just really wasn't expecting how good this actually is. Like, the production is so much more adventurous and high quality than I'm used to. His voice, he's really making his voice work. He's really thriving in this area. I, I this is so fun. <laughs> it also just like, it really fits the story of Bendy. Like, yeah, the writing's good here too. The writing really fits Bendy's overall story, which obviously... This is the first one we've listened to that has the entire game story to work with after it was complete. Yeah, that's an advantage so, of a doubt. It feels like it feels like this one so far has been the best at just telling Bendy's story through the tone of the music. I really like it. 
yeah, he he's he is literally killing it. Oh, hey, okay, thank God, chat. We we have we have answers. We have answers. <laughs> okay, so JT Music is the reason the uh, stream went down. Oh, um, what? Okay. You can listen to their music, but the Benji music? Uh-uh. You're not far off. I think... <laughs> I think it's the video itself that got claimed. Because it says, oh. copyrighted content, and it's not the full length of the video, it says, Bendy Rap SFM. Oh! It doesn't say the full length, that's not what the video is called, it doesn't say the full thing, it says, Bendy Rap SFM. So I'm gonna trust that that means we can watch the other ones... But if then something bad happens, we're just scrapping JT music from the channel. <laughs> uh, really, really hoping, really hoping right now that we'll be okay. Hopefully. Thank you, Vicar Silver, for the $5. Might be my excitement, but did you hear about the new Creature Feature cover? I don't know what this means. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Oh, Rye, um, Can't Be Erased is what got the stream taken down. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> it can't uh, be a race is what we were listening to when the stream got claimed. Yeah. Well, good thing it wasn't DA Games, I guess, because there's a lot more <laughs> of that on this channel. Uh, please put a plug in. Uh, I will do that. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Static Soul, for the $5. Put Alice next to Pastra with a, with a taser gun for safety reasons. <laughs> That's a violation, <laughs> but it's hilarious, so I'm absolutely going to do it. Wow. This is the best CG5 song, I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> I adore this. I mean, Sam. Oh, this guitar riff. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Seeing the ending of the game too, as like the song reaches its climax, gives me chills. That like, was so good. I actually really liked the ending. Also, I found a render of Alice Angel with her hand in the air, so I could put a taser in it. Anyway, um, let's go. Uh, yeah, that was that was peak. Am I too over excited in saying this is an S tier? No, I agree with you. That was great. That was that was that was that was that was, that was great. Yeah, that was. It I lived up to that. the song title. True, it's called masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, that like, was that was great. Everything, like, holy like, shit, because like there's nothing weighing it down to like an A tier range. Like it's so consistent. It ha it like d develops over time with like the guitar riff, like you mentioned. That was so exciting. He really made his vocals work in there. The feature was cool. All the writing was great. That was like, that was and fantastic. it was like another thing too is that it fit Bendy while feeling different from every other fan song True. i've heard you're so like right. i was saying i was saying earlier like build our machine felt so good because it perfectly played into what i imagined bendy as a song would sound like 
This one is great for a completely different reason. It's completely different. It tries something new. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Someone said CG5 and S tier. I never thought I'd see the day. I I don't deny CG5's talent, but I, I didn't either. I never thought that would happen. <laughs> that was Like, wow. That, like, blew me away from what I would have expected from him. And that sounds mean, but you can't blame me. <laughs> Like, this yeah, is the I, guy I'm... that made Grimace the song. <laughs> <laughs> this guy like, made Holy in Ohio. <laughs> you forget that he could just make, like, really, like, good emotional songs when he wants to. I know. Like, please, CG5, do more of that. <laughs> also, this is a very recent one for an Ink Machine song. Came out in 2021. Is ML Spence in this one? No, damn it. Um, Emil Spence has to be in one of these. It, it's it's inevitable. Oh yeah. But yeah, this is Bendy Beats, uh, by Kyle Allen Music. That's eleven point two million views. Again, much more recent. Um, yeah, Kyle Allen Music, I think has, from what I've heard, can be a bit of a mixed bag, but he undoubtedly knows what he's doing. So, I'm I'm pretty uh, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I have I have relatively high hopes. However, I'm it's going to be curious. hard to live up to the last one we heard. Oh my God! Yeah. So I don't even expect that, but I'm 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 excited for this. He's back on the screen. He's dancing on the scene. It's been a few years since you tapped your feet. Bring it in, folks, and drop that beat. Bendy, <laughs> the cartoon devil. Find him in the studio on every level. We Did it take till like last year for us to get good Bendy fan models? Dude, I'm telling you, Bendy models were so scuffed for so long. I know, this came out in 2021. Because one, one thing you got to understand, right? We didn't have a model of cartoon Bendy aside from a cutout until the Dark Revival. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, that makes complete sense. They never they never had one. There was no Bendy reason was to. never three-dimensional with the exception of the Ink Demon and cardboard cutouts. So, like, people yeah. were working with whatever they could get their hands on. My God. But hey, I'm liking the vibe of this one. Bendy. The cartoon devil, find him in the studio on every level. We love him here, he's quite the riot. But when he gets close, you better be quiet. Lurking <laughs> within the dark. Put him on the mic and you'll get that spar. Count those sheep, don't fall too deep. Hit that floor, you'll be falling asleep. Tip <laughs> tip toe, crossing the squeaky floors. What the f Who are you? Huh? What? <laughs> who? Who is? Who, who is, is this you? random? Who is this random old man who looks like he's gonna burst out of his own shirt? <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, hello there. H hello there. Uh, I'm gonna call you John Bendy. I guess that's oh, supposed to be Henry. Cool. Yeah, it must be, but it's not what I was thinking. Look like. Uh, thank you, Potato Guy, for the two dollars. Don't you worry. We're gonna have a great time with that one. Don't you even think twice about it. Hear you, and you'll be done for. Hide where you can, maybe he'll pass by. This ain't no dream, better open your eyes. It's been some time since we wore the crown. So let's go. I love his voice here. Have a little mm. taste of bacon soup with Bendy. Bacon soup, Zach, that gave me PTSD. <laughs> I know, I got like a chill down my spine just now. <laughs> that gave me. Okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I, I will I will say so far, by the way, love the vibe and the tone of the song. However, if I'm being honest, I think the lyrics at times are really awkward. Yeah, I think that's fair. To, I think that's fair enough. I do also, I do feel like, um, although uh, I, I'm liking the style of the song, and obviously the style is like integral to the fandom, it does feel a little bit generic for the style, if that makes sense. It feels like... yeah. This kind of this kind of sounds like it would blend in with a lot of other Bendy songs, you know. Yeah, this one this one to me just feels very much so like stuff we've already heard without with like not too much of an identity of its own, and at times the lyrics feel very awkward and have trouble flowing. Yeah, but you know, just the overall quality of his voice and the production, you know, it still it still has that quality to back it up. Absolutely, yeah. This recording has have a little taste of bacon. <laughs> Bendy beats, Bendy beats. Pick up your pen and dance on ink with Bendy beats. Cut that bottle. It's so weird. Oh my god, it's the guys. 
So yeah, I, I think this is again just the overall quality of like the singing production does make it like it's an enjoyable listen so far. Absolutely, yeah. S five, thank you for the two dollars. Never forget the counting incident of twenty twenty two. I'd rather forget it, honestly. <laughs> I, I'd rather forget about it. <laughs> also, random stuff. Gaming said Bendy beats your mom. Thanks, man. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs> The friendly hungry foe. What happened to your sandwich? He might know. Searching around what? for lucky spare parts. But no thing to Alice, he stole his heart. Bendy and Alice, the gent and the dame. Drawn to each other like moth to a flame. Just keep your distance from the e ink demon. Wondering is a deadly sin. <laughs> Joey is the. I love that they got that line in there. <laughs> yeah, like, again, like. <laughs> the writing of this one the... is awkward. I was gonna say, like, I think the lines on you know alone sound okay, but like they don't flow together well at all, in my opinion. They're very awkward. I think that's fair. Thank you, Devil Within, for the two seventy nine. There's a Bendy song about bacon soup. Uh, I'd rather, I'd rather not, uh, for per- <laughs> for personal reasons. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, I, I do, I do really like this. I, ha- I don't think we've seen a song with this line in it yet. So you know what? I like it. <laughs> Listen. Joey is the man who went and drew the day- hmm? Joey is the man who went and drew. I <laughs> I guess he did, except he didn't because the person who drew the cartoons was Was what Zar? You could uh Uh hello? Hi. I had a weird connection issue for a second. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I t- Joey the man who went and drew, except he didn't, because literally the plot is that he didn't do shit. This line, yeah, that's yeah, but also this line feels like it's really trying. It's trying to say something clever. That's that's what I'm getting from the whole song. Is like yeah, it sounds like right. it's trying to come up with really clever lyrics and has no idea how to do them. <laughs> Ooh, the dancing devil right in front of you. When it comes to cartoons, we're the best. Nothing with our team is possessed. Let's get back to our amazing show. There's nothing evil down below. Have a little taste of bacon soup. Stop with it. Bendy beats. Bendy beats. Pick up your pen and I don't like seeing the ink demon move like beats. this. I know, he is he is breaking it down. My god. Let him let him cook. <laughs> like, man is going hard and he looks like he shouldn't be able to walk outside of a hobble. I know. There's nothing evil down below. Have a little He's so like fluid, which like, I mean makes so, sense, but like, it's so weird. It looks so weird for him. I'm not used to this. Oh man, it's so funny. Pick up your pen and dab some ink with Bendy Beats. Bendy, Bendy Beats. Dial into the studio. We need some souls to reach our goal. Give I think Righto said it best. It's like the rapper has decent flow, but can't write ly- lyrics that do flow together. Right. True. Thank you, Static Soul, for like five dollars. Pepper, st- pepper spray, or a restraining order in Alice's other hand. Whatever you think is funnier. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find a good PNG of a restraining order, but if I can, I'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right. I don't. I don't know why Alice needs all this. Really? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, we're somehow only halfway through this, so I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. You're at Bendy Beats. Machine and ocean of silent screams. Rooms that never end with tunes that stretch and bend. Simple quests that keep on going down. Yeah, again, I'm just, I mean, it's kind of just reiterating what I said before, but I mean, what makes this song, like, for me, still, like, totally listenable is I just think his voice is good. I think he clearly knows what he's doing. He's clearly a musician. He knows how to structure the song. He knows how to make it a, a decent listening experience. It's put together fine. But yeah, I mean, I can't... I, I'm with you on this. I can't really unhear how awkward it feels. Yeah, like, that's the thing. 
He's a good singer. Voice sounds good. The production quality is good. The overall vibe is fine, but just like, ah, the lyrics just bother me because it feels like you, you expect the lyrics to sound one way and then they just don't. That's true. <laughs> Bendy beats, bendy beats. <laughs> to the studio, we need some souls to reach our goal. Give us a little visit here at Bendy, bendy Beats, Bendy, bendy Beats. beats. Come to the show, you'll get your bendy photo. Charts and I, my man, fucking threw himself into a door. Show, you'll get your bendy photo. I don't know why that's so funny to More bacon soup. Bendy beats. Pick up your pen and dab some ink with bendy beats. Bendy beats. Dial into the studio. We need some souls to reach our goal. Give us a little visit here at Bendy Beats. Bendy Beats. Why isn't it over? You'll get your bendy photo. Find an instrument. Oh fuck, Zach died. Why is Zach dead? Uh oh. What happened to Zachary Giggle Snacks? Zach, come back to life. Uh oh. My Discord crashed. Oh, okay. It'll be back. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, squad. Not that he's missing much. In fact, I'm just going to let this run anyway. And play. My friendly neighborhood song. Okay, I mean I'll let him. Uh, I'll let him rejoin before I make a final ranking. But yeah, I don't know. I I can't really, in good conscience, say this is below C. Because like, hi, hello. Oh, either alive. Okay, good. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. I don't know what's up with my connection to Discord today. Discord be frustrating sometimes. Oh my god. I mean, okay. I mean, you really only miss like the last little bit of the song where it basically just repeats. So I mean I don't know. I feel like again, I, I said that I can't really in good conscience put this like below C because I think it still has like a reasonable quality to it. I think it's just like a perfect C tier to me. C was what I wanted anyway. Okay. Because like, you know, I, I could see only the problem is... for D though, but you know, it's not that bad. My my only problem with it is the lyrics. So, like, I, I think everything else is competent, so there's no real reason. Like, I, I view D, E, and F as stuff where it's like, I genuinely don't like listening to this. Yeah, I think that's C, true. I still enjoy listening to it. It's just a bit, like, awkward at parts, and it kind of irks me. Yeah, I totally, totally get that. I think this is, I think this is reasonable thus far. I think we've made some big brain decisions. Mm hmm What do we have, though? Oh, that's about to go wild. Heart of Darkness. Chat's about to lose their goddamn minds. Oh, I love Stupendium, so. I think Stupendium is great, but I hate how much my chat loves them. <laughs> because whenever I say a Stupendium song is not S, it's, it's, I'm, I, I'm, I fear for my life. <laughs> well, depending on how this one goes, who knows? Who knows? But, like, Stupendium makes some peak music. Absolutely. They are so talented. Also, I will say for the chat, in case you don't know, Stupendium does use they, them pronouns. But, yeah. They're very talented. One of the most skilled in this field, without a doubt. But, I mean, sometimes chat won't let me have my opinions. So, fuck you guys. Love Stupendium, but fuck you guys. That's my point here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is this post... Yeah, this is post Ink Machine being done, so that's always good. 20 million, my god. Holy. Um, 
so yeah, let's let's let it run. I'm I am expecting I'm expecting good things to be fair. Oh, oh my God! Hello, my, my name is Joey Drew. Hi, Joey you Drew. Must be here to learn about the wonderful world of animals and drawings, just like these, going to every minute of your favorite bending. Their videos are great too. Like they're always so cool. I know. Oh. Maker, I'll tell you later. It seems the scene has us careening down an elevator. Must have been dreaming to think we'd make a clean escape. I doubt the I one like machine it. here could make it past the regulator. <laughs> well, we never had this many Bendy, levels. Not the that chorus looks What's hilarious. What's so scary about a library I and know, a record I player? Want to find the angel in a basement more dilapidated? This is kind of tasteful. Alice, tell me who's your decorator? I'll never make a lady wait. I guess you'd say that I'm a player. Angel wants a date, and I would really hate to aggravate a virus. Don't you worry, I will never let us separate us. Hold you, where'd you go? Damn, guess I better go and save it. Compendium is a fantastic songwriter. Like, oh my god, yeah, like they're just <laughs> so good at songwriting. Like, I was gonna say, literally, so far, this song is the polar opposite to the last one. I think the lyrics here are phenomenal. They're perfect. They're so good at this. It's wild. Uh, okay, chat, you you may you may have been onto something, I, but I don't want to give you that credit. Alright, <laughs> don't you worry, I will never let a separate us hold you where'd you go. Damn, guess I better go and save it. Alice thinks that hacking up my pal is gonna medicate a fallacy. The treatment that this galaxy is on a razor rap against an animator. Alice, get back on your paper, rhyming on the multiplayer. My lyrics work on several layers. Wow. Well, that was good. Well, the angels on the stage, so pipe down. If there are secrets that you want to find out, how about me, machine, and ride those pipes down? So you're on the path of the wow. star. Wow, this, okay, okay, this is great. <laughs> Yes, yeah, this is pretty goddamn Holy perfect so far, shit. isn't it? There's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. There's a, uh, there's like really no no flaws. <laughs> Writing is so cool. It's all bouncy and fun to listen to, and their voice is great as usual. God damn it! This Shut favorite up. visual so far from any of these two. Oh yeah, visuals have been really cool too. I like the whole thing of Stupendio being Joy Drew at the beginning is fun to see. Like yeah, Stupendio's videos are great. Like Pizza the Action, I can't I can't even imagine what the budget on that video was. Like Pizza the Action is like up there with Got No Time as my favorite FNAF song, dead ass. Like it's, it's crazy. Like that that well the song is amazing as well, but like that video has so much in it, it's wild. I I cannot listen to that song without watching the music video. Yeah, it's fantastic. Like, All their videos. Also, this so one, cool. um, this one also gets bonus points for being about Alice. Does it now? Yeah. Yes. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. This is so good. This is so fun. Left by the gods and beheaded by a rod. Some deadly black spots for the clutter and the spear. Beheaded for the breadline. Never ever meddled with the pencil lead and bread lines. Monkey with a wrench might thunk you in the head. Henry, can you see the headlines? Animated dead by an enemy he designed. What if was an angel who swallowed a spider? This is so fun. I love how flexible their voice is. Don't say anything, Zach. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. But at the heart, while they are, it's heartless. Ever seen a masterpiece get discarded? Started the part for the Change the screen, please. <laughs> oh, it's all the fun of the fairground. And I would say I'm on fairground to take a little revenge now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Stop prepared to see that.
<laughs> also, the oh only kind God. of spamming I will condone is you calling Zach a simp. Keep keep it coming. But Come on, it's not fair. Uh, it's fully fair. I need to see. Look, that again. I showed restraint. You just did now. show restraint. I <laughs> should be commended uh, for what I am doing for the stream. That's fair. Your eye. Because my work pertains a certain free son, a hurtling free fall, disturbing G buns are out of season, so must you keep on? Are you caught in a spin? Well, it's a shame that your organ and limbs will be lost in the ink. Well, it's awfully grim. How is their voice so flexible? I know! Like, the range! Like, if you told me there were features on this song, that, like, there were a few different, like, people in here, I'd believe you. <laughs> like, dude! It's crazy. Little hell up in the helter skelter, no help or shelter. Board the ride, don't you know you've got to be this tall to die? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> this is just too good. <laughs> this, this is like this is stupid this good. Is... This is such like a professional production just from the video and I the know. music. Like this is this yeah. and also like notice the fact too that we're like just going through the chapters with the song. I was gonna say that I just love how it's like recreating like the like significant moments of Ink Machine so so well. It's so cool and I like the way they put themselves in the fucking amusement park boss. I don't remember their name. Um, Bertram. Bertram, yeah, I knew someone with a B. Yeah, like it, it, the the production of the video is also just so cool. It's like oh, holy man, this shit. Is, this is peak. To this mangled form to abandon us here was an act of war. It's awful to think you'll bring back the norm. We ink, but no malpractice forms. Good Henry, you never gave a crap before. Okay, never mind. This is F tier for censoring the word crap on screen. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Codebreak33 for the $2. If I remember Stupendium actually animated these, there's no fucking way. Video... Wow. Holy shit. This motherfucker needs to be stopped. They have too many skills. Too much talent. Wow. He needs to share it with the rest of us. That's insane. Wow. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Till we trap you down neath the factory floor Clap along to the rapturous score Three rounds down and back for more To find the keys He's in so chapter four Remind me, have you heard that before? If you thought the demons were your problem right now Well, the angels are the stage, so pipe down If there are secrets that you're out to find out How about the ink machine and ride those pipes down So you're on the path of the stars and you're not as But at the heart, well, the heart is heartless Ever seen a masterpiece get this? I I might have to say I think Stupendia might be the best songwriter in like the fandom song scene. Like genuinely, I couldn't agree more. The consistency is insane the consistent quality the clear and obvious passion for every single like fandom they make a song for like there is there is a level of commitment and passion here that i you never get to see from anyone else someone does make a good point da games baldy song steals the crown that's a compelling argument <laughs> okay well i mean like <laughs> It's Look, hard to argue with that. Not but. everyone can be a literal god, jeez. Stationary should be stationary, shouldn't talk back. I need a shrink, I'm on the brink, the ink is fought back. Thought that the apocalypse was supposed to live on horseback. Screw with that, deliverance was hidden in the raw shack. That's all, folks. Keep dreaming. Wow. That is actually, is so much like, a masterpiece. That was amazing. Cartoon. Yeah, I... Damn it, chat wins. Um... <laughs> Yeah, just an obvious S. It might be the best one. <laughs> Genuinely, I think it might be. I think it is. It has, like, there was literally no flaws in its production at all. There is nothing, is nothing no wrong with it. Whatsoever. It is actually the best. Build Our Machine is, like, an icon 
and like a level of significance nothing here could ever touch but like this is just like perfect all around build, build our machine is iconic but like art of darkness has literally everything going for it everything even the music video is this phenomenal spectacle they did everything right can i just say like, that it says so much that we're five songs deep we have three s tiers and the worst one just sounds a little awkward yeah right that's crazy bendy, i'm telling you the bendy fandom is full of such insane talent i love the bendy fandom oh hey azazel is here hello oh my god hi hi hope you're doing well thank you for stopping by um yeah this has been we have been on quite the fucking like this is this wild <laughs> No tier list stream ever goes this well so consistently. Just wait. We're going to like, we're going to get to like, we're, we're going to get to one that's going to be so atrociously bad. It'll kill the entire mood. Uh, well, we're not far from the one that has Matt Pat as the lead singer. So that might be our down. Oh, oh, uh, but next up we got DA games who is obviously top tier. Uh, so absolutely. Far. I've never heard this one. I this song is also massive with 55 million views, but this one definitely is not like talked about as much as or like as I mean nothing could hold a candle to build our machine, but I, I never really see this one in discourse, you know? Yeah, so, no, like Gospel of Dismay. I think I've heard it in like some fan made animated music videos a long time ago, but I generally forget how this one sounds. Yeah, I've never I've never listened to this so. Uh, all right, let's 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 give it a go. This is, oh, not that long after Build Our Machine. Is this like chapter three, or even two? Uh, I think this might just be chapter looks, two. I think it might be chapter two. Yeah. Yeah, this is not long after. Okay. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Okay. Right away, this sounds way more like a DA game song. This is so DA games core. <laughs> this is so much more DA games than Build Our Machine ever was. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing, but... No, absolutely not. But it's just funny how immediately I DA know. games this sounds. Like, it's just immediately, oh yeah, that's DA games. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's, let's let it run. Oh, hey, Okay, so I think this is pretty okay so far. Pretty good, pretty solid. Mm -hmm. I will say, not only is this DA game score, a lot of this just sounds like as as the FNAF song expert. A lot of this does just sound like his song March Onward to Your Nightmare. A lot of Yeah, I was going to say actually this sounds a lot like his FNAF 4 songs. A lot of it does sound like specifically that one to me. Uh the instrumental has like that bendy sound to it, which makes it feel still hashtag bendy core. But I yeah, I will say a lot of like the writing and the way he's performing it just sounds a lot like the bouncier still aggressive sound that i remember from march onward but i mean yeah this it's it's this pretty one, decent this one's really fun so far but it absolutely feels more like your typical da game song instead of like a bendy song right it fits it fits like the typical da games vibe more while something like build our machine felt perfect for bendy mm -hmm. someone said i'm waiting for him to say because i'm the phone guy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah man I really hate when Will puts himself in his videos like I this. I was going to say, I just got jump scared <laughs> by Will DA Games. I was not ready for that. Because he does it in such weird ways. <laughs> and he has such an awkward stage presence. Man just appeared. Oh, man. Like, 
Oh god. I like this part though. I like this. This part's good. This is fun. If he was gonna stay in the video for the rest of the time, why wasn't he just there in the beginning? I was gonna say, like, <laughs> I thought he was gonna go away after that part. Well, yeah, like, why is he only appearing now? It's weird. Also, I do like the homies here snapping along. Yeah, this is nice. The music video was so much better for this one. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I don't like Bendy's look. I don't like his face. I don't like the way he's looking to me. I will say that. Bendy, <laughs> Bendy, I don't like the vibes he's given off. Like, Boris just seems like he's into the song, but, like, Bendy looks like he's planning something. Yeah, Boris looks like he's into the song. Bendy looks like he's into us, and I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like I'm being checked out right now, and I don't know how to feel about it. I don't like it. <laughs> I think he forgot the lyrics in this video, I'm gonna be honest. Look at just mm. look at him as he's doing this. After this. <laughs> oh, it just looks like he's moving his mouth. Yeah, yeah, it does. It doesn't look like he's singing. Actually, that, but that might just be because it's in literally five frames per second. So maybe, maybe it's just that. My God, the face you paused on. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh my God. Also, the snapping is not in sync with the beat. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I don't know why you were so worried. <laughs> I like this, this is fun. I totally see what you mean. He does look like he's doing a TikTok thing. Uh, <laughs> real quick. Thank you, Hayden san. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm bad at names. Thank you for the $5. What up, Pastor Baddis? Hello. Have you done projections? No. Ink Machine Gun? No. Regular Demons? No. Details and Devil? I think that's in here, but no. Are you proud of me now? I think that's in here, but no. Uh, thank you, Super Brady's YouTube. Thank you for the 5 A cool thing. I got to beat DA Games at Too Many Games last year. That's cool. Also, put the, th put the thumbnail of the story of Undertale on the desk. I might We might have to start putting things to the left of the desk. Thank you for the 5 also, shout out to the fact that you paused on him being caught a nuclear bomb. Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> Man is being eviscerated by God. Again, Will stage present. Look at this guy. <laughs> like, no disrespect, <laughs> but like... <laughs> no, abso absolutely not. Like, I love the enthusiasm he shows yeah. whenever he, you, like, has himself in the songs, but he does have a very strange stage presence. I know, he's so silly. <laughs> All right. I also I don't I don't know the story of Undertale, so I'm just getting the first thing that I see and hoping it's right. I like that. 
Oh, they have different voices? Hang on, I want to hear Boris again. You're the conductor of this performance now, Henry. Will you take their word or ours? Call oh my god. Word. You turn on the machine. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Hayden said for the two dollars. I forgot to put the projections on the desk. Okay, we'll do. Thank you. <laughs> yeah i i like that not one bad. yeah not bad. how are you feeling about that one i think that one is our first a tier personally i think that's fair yeah i do think um i definitely think you know it it doesn't stand up to the uh first one he did but i i can't really expect it to necessarily um see yeah. I think it's a really solid song all around. It's very consistent. Um, I just think the problem is just that it sounds a lot like a lot of his other songs. Like it, it, it doesn't have as much of an identity. Yeah. It, so it, like, it's just, it could have been a little more creative, a little more creative, tried out a little more things. And, you know, I think, uh, I think that's kind of the beautiful thing about fan songs is when they try to experiment and be more ambitious and in regards to the material they're working with, try to make it feel more like it, try to make it feel like it fits specifically what they're doing there and not just in general, you know? I'm, yeah. I'm, I, my brain is malfunctioning as I try to form sentences, but like, I love when like, you know, cause I think FNAF songs have a wider variety of sounds because it's been around for a long time and there's so many different games, you know? But I think with Bendy, I think, um, a lot of like I think CG five is a great example of that actually because I've never heard something this fucking good from him, and I think he really embraced Bendy's aesthetic and feeling and tried to make something that worked with that and it worked really well. Yeah, you see, like the the thing is, right? If I look at all of our S tier songs, every single one of them feels like a completely different song, and yet they all exactly. capture Bendy perfectly. Yeah, the creativity of these are truly off the charts and the stupendium is too talented for too talented for their own good. Um <laughs> yeah, like I swear to god like somehow stupendium is like a creativity like uh, like a creativity vampire and just steals it from other people and like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and again, like even our lowest one so far, I could totally listen to and have a good time listening. It's just a little a little bit of an awkward, a little bit awkward in the writing department and the performance stuff, but you know. This is this yeah. has been pretty fire yeah there has yet to be a bad song the worst song here to me is just mid there has yet to be below mid now we got matt pat let's go oh no <laughs> i don't want to hear anything in chat about my voice <laughs> nothing Zach, what are you doing a cover of this song if i if i hear a single person in this chat say that I'm like oh pastor is singing in the song i will riot <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Um thank you, uh Theo Nix for the two pounds to say hi. Hello. <laughs> um yeah, this one I have heard actually. Have you ever heard this? I have not heard this one. Okay. Um it's okay, I I'm just, I I'll let you hear it, but I will say it's not that bad. Also, apparently I missed a super chat. I don't know if I maybe I missed this one. Super Buddy's YouTube thank you for the five for my obligatory Toontown reference, you should put the Rainmaker on the desk. Do you know what Toontown is, Zach? Do you know what that is? Yeah, it. I, I know what Toontown is. I, cause like it's... I, I, peep, uh, specifically Super Bready here, wants me to put things from it on the desk like every day, pretty much. And I, I don't get what it, it is. It's like think of it like Club Penguin, like that sort of thing, but like for like this whole thing of like cartoon and rubber hose characters. You make your own little you make your own little rubber hose character and you're exploring this little like uh, this little world online. That sounds kind of peak. <laughs> I actually wanted to try it one time whenever I was in like the height of my rubber hose hyperfixation with like Bendy mm -hmm. and Epic Mickey. Oh, hey Fred and Nader, I know you. 
Thank you for the five dollars. Seventy five dollars because yes, hello. Haven't been to your streams in a hot minute, so wanting to send this for support. I got any desk ideas though. That's cool. Thank you for stopping by. Nice to see you here. All right, now we got for the record, random encounters are very skilled. I like them a lot. Their FNAF the musical is probably one of my favorite videos on the internet, but they have their flops, specifically their baldy stuff. <laughs> but hey, Zach, you're gonna enjoy this. I'm sure. Also, thank you, Christian. I don't know how to say your last name. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Thank you, Christian, for the five, I believe, euros. I'll take care of that. Let's let it run. Hi, welcome to the Silly Vision Animation. Stop studio. motion. <laughs> yeah, the video's cool. Is I it? Love stop is it bad that I think Matt Pat kind of fits Bendy? <laughs> Uh, wait, that was Matt Pat talking? Yes! Wait, 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 let it play again? Hi! Welcome to the Silly Vision oh Animation Studio! Oh my god! It's so weird! Holy! It's so weird! <laughs> Holy! I did not recognize him! It's so weird! Thank you, Mr. Maniac, for the $7. Uh, this song is in Be This song is in Bendy Big Fish Chapter 3? Matt Pat is canon to Bendy? Oh, his voice is not in the game version. Okay. Okay, I All of the game versions of fan songs are like instrumentals. Right, right. Now I have two donations to put MatPat on the desk. <laughs> I'll get two different ones. But yeah, this... this MatPat fits Bendy weirdly well. Hi! Welcome to the Silly Vision Animation Studio, where magic is made and dreams really come true. Our uh, tour group is a little small today. <laughs> but uh, no worries. So is our animation studio. <laughs> this is the most important room in the facility where we house our incredible ink machine. Come get a look. It's nothing like you've seen. It's my trendy new bendy ink machine. So amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. Believe me, it's true. Allow God damn it, this me is so charming. What it my works ink machine can do. surprisingly well. Come take a peek. Cause nothing else compares. There's no fee, so feel free to stop and stare from the spout to the sprockets and the bits in between. I'm in love with my ink machine. I mean, it's just something I will say, actually. This is something we do know, actually. Now that, I, now that I'm just thinking about it, because obviously Random Encounters does musicals, MatPat did have a background in theater before, like, becoming a YouTube guy. So, yeah. That actually, it actually does make sense here that he's pretty decent at this. Yeah, he actually does a pretty damn good job. It's where someone said Pastor singing. <laughs> oh, God. Pastor, I didn't know you had a musical career. <laughs> oh, I... Pastor is really good I'm not... I am not going to read chat for this song. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. That... I can hear Pastor, though. <laughs> anyway, but, yeah. Ooh. This is, uh... This, this, yeah, I definitely think this one is like okay. I don't love this, maybe because I'm not a big musical person in general, but like, I, I, I think this works shockingly well. And also, yeah, this the is video like, is really charming. It is so insanely charming. I'm such a sucker for stop motion. It's so impressive, and it's so, it's so cool. And also, chat, don't mind the map paths that I'm about to add to the screen. Hmm, productivity is a little low. Maybe we could fix that. Such simple work, it's practically obscene that I choose not to use my ink machine twice the speed, half the work in a third of the time. Convenient, so genius, it ought to be a crime. Waste that alone, the efficiency is high, every load's up to code and certified. Sure, there's case quirks and hiccup, but they're far flung between. Nonetheless, I still think the best of my Machine. Honestly, MatPat is just bendy. <laughs> that's my that's my head. He cannon. really like he really really fits bendy. Actually, bendy's voice is just gonna be MatPat to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like if bendy has a voice, he's either making little like squeaking sounds, like what was originally playing in Dark Revival, or he's MatPat. Mm -hmm. And also, Zach, look on the bright side here. If people say you sound like MatPat, that means you sound like bendy. True. We can take it. I can take the W there. <laughs> How could one resist this perfectly pristine, eco-friendly, patent-pending, bendy ink machine? <laughs> Here's to my new incredible machine. 
Incredible. Bendy's committed murder. <laughs> this is so adorable, honestly. I love this. That was the ink machine. Now let's head past the gift shop over. Is there more? Okay, I'll think so. There might be a sequel to this, actually. I don't know. I, I feel like they did more than this. Musical episode. <laughs> oh, wait. And next up on our tour to our left, oh. you'll see how to purchase this song oh, on iTunes. Oh, that's fun. Or Shout out to the mad to the game theory on Bendy. Um Yeah. They were incredibly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I wouldn't really listen to this like as a song on my own, but I think it's just like deserving of a decent tier cuz like it's just like it's really adorable. It's really well made, and I will, st I will never really get over how good Matt Pat did. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I think I think you said it best. Like, I'm not gonna be listening to this on my own time, but my God, is the actual video so endearing? Yeah, and even though like it's it's not like and it's, since it's a musical, the song works with the video. You know, that's kind of why. Like, the song is well done, and again, Matt Pat actually carried his own very well. But, you know, it's just not like a song song. I think it's an honorary, like, B tier, I think. I, I was going to say B tier. I think B suits it. I think that makes sense. Also, thank you, Super Buddy, for the $10. Pastor, if you want to still check out Toontown, look into Toontown Corporate Clash. It's free, and I feel like you'd enjoy the game's art style. Okay. Okay, cool. Also, put PVZ, Scaredy Shroom, and Imitator on the desk. <laughs> All right, we'll do. Let's start up the next one though before I take care of that. What do we have next? Okay, we got more CG5. This one is Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We're we're going back in time a little bit here. Well, not a little bit. We're going way back in time here. <laughs> uh this is also chapter 2, I guess. I think it is also chapter 2. It's either it's either like chapter 2 or like chapter 3 just came out. So, yeah, this is like probably their first bendy one unless I missed one, I don't know. This one's definitely later in fact i think this is dark revival yeah we're finally gonna get a dark revival song jesus yo um, oh yeah i, I also, actually heard children of the machine i also included this one because it's a bendy nightmare run song i only included really it because i found that funny that um, is really fucking funny <laughs> but yeah here we got bendy the Ink machine song cg5 featuring ck uh 9c who i also know let's let it run Very bendy core. Mm -hmm. This is what I will say going into it. I do think this is an example of CG5's voice not really leaning into the style that well. It's a little... I I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe... I mean, that's subject, maybe it's subjective enough for debate, but I do feel like it's stuff like this where he has a hard time kind of joining the high energy that the production has. I was actually going to say that, yeah, like, I feel like his vocals tonally fit really well with Masterpiece, because that song was a lot, like, sadder and more, like, bittersweet sounding. This one's supposed to sound upbeat, and he still sounds sad. Exactly. He just... I Also, I think the lyrics are awkward so far as well. Uh, I haven't noticed that as much, but, yeah, I do think, I just think CG5's, I don't know, CG5, I wish... Um, obviously every, like, 
singer has you know like their limits and you know and stuff but like i just i feel like something cg5 could genuinely work on is just being more expressive in the way he sings and in some in some songs i feel like he could definitely exper i think he could experiment more you know what i mean yeah absolutely so yeah i i'd like to uh Someone said, "Stop being negative." It says, "Don't hate." It does say it right on screen. Bendy is telling oh, us not to hate. You are, you are correct. <laughs> I'm not hating. This is called constructive criticism. I was gonna say hating would be if we paused it and just went, "This is shit," and then unpaused. <laughs> that, which would have been really funny. I will say. Yes, absolutely. What? What, what happened to his four? That Bendy model actually just got scrunched. <laughs> oh my god, look at the way it's folding. He, he, he was getting scrunched. Oh my god. A fun drop. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I like that drop. I, I fuck with that drop. It's really fun. <laughs> the whole instrumental of this song is great. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Thank you, Meme Man, for the five dollars. There's an updated music video for this on Axie's channel. The video for this one is a bit too rough. <laughs> no, we, we'll, we'll we'll bear with this. It is the original. But shout out to Axie. I they followed me on Twitter recently. Shout out. Oh, sick. Boris. Wait, is this Boris singing? Can we get more angsty Boris, please? Please, more angsty Boris. Please, I love angsty I need Boris. It. Alright, no angst, unfortunately. Come on, Boris. Be sad. <laughs> I just realized something. And this is hmm. definitely just the FNAF effect. Every single mascot horror game has multiple songs that say 30 years in it. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait. <laughs> well, what? Wait, hold on. Wait, yeah, this is Bendy. What do you mean 30 years? <laughs> wait, I mean, I, is it 30 I mean, years in it? Yeah, because Bendy, Bendy was like originally like the rubber hose era and then it takes place during the 70s. So it makes Holy sense shit, with Bendy. Everything is 30 years. <laughs> Everything that, is thirty years, except for Ban Ban, which is like seven. <laughs> that that's so weird. That is so fucking weird. Like when I saw when he the way he said thirty years, I merely thought of it's time to die, where he goes thirty years since all this happened. Thirty years it took to rise. God, that is so weird. What the hell? So Why is that a thing? So many thirty years. This drop is different, a little bit different than the last one. Yeah. And it's, it, uh, the last one had like a fun combination of like the bendy style and dubstep. This one's kind of just dubstep. Yeah, like I it turned into it. Skrillex. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't love it as much. Yeah, no. Bendy. <laughs> Boris. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> <laughs> 
God, that looks so ugly. It's so weird. Shout out to this R. Shout out to Boris with Bendy's proportions. It's so I will good. keep calling it out. Whoops. Uh, I think this is just another clear C. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It's it's just mid. I couldn't. I could listen to this again. I like the first drop quite a bit, and the production carries most of it. But like, I, I'd even say it's better than this one because I I think this one has a little more personality. But it does, yeah. And the the lyrics are better. Yeah, this one has our worst lyrics so far, and the Art of Darkness is unironically like peak lyricism. <laughs> Genuinely, like, it is astounding how good Art of Darkness is. Like, how can you even think of that? Yeah. But no, like, uh, Spotlight, Spotlight to me is just, eh, because, like, it has, it has personality. It can be fun. But I think, like, I don't know, I, I don't think CG5's local, uh, locals, vocals lend themselves well to the tone <laughs> of the song. CG5 locals in your area. <laughs> 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 no, I, don't, I don't think CG5's vocals fit the tone of the song as well, and I also just think, like, it sounds a bit more like your generic Bendy song. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Except for the dubstep stuff, which is really strange. And for the most part, I don't like the dubstep stuff. Yeah. Again, I think the first drop was fun to listen to, and it, like, kind of meshed the styles in a way that was surprisingly fun. The second time it dropped, it was just Skrillex, like you said. Yeah, no, it, it just turned into Skrillex. It had none of, like, the Bendy charm to it at all. Mm hmm. All right. Escape the Nightmare, Bendy Nightmare Run song. See, I am really curious about this one. See, it's I added this Allen one. Again. Yeah, it's Kyle Allen, who is our worst so far, but that doesn't really mean much. Um, mm -hmm. And also, I added this initially because I thought it was funny that it was a Bendy Nightmare Run song, but it also has 37 million views. Holy shit. So I feel like I kind of have to have it here. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And it, it, Bendy Nightmare Run. What do you even sing I know, about? I know. Run, run, run again. Keep running. No one stop I running. I bet you love Temple Run. <laughs> now it's Bendy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, you like Subway Surfers? Well, now it's Bendified. Right. I hope that's a lyric. <laughs> God, the lyrics again. The lyrics, they are awkward, but they're also just they're coming closer and we're running. <laughs> yeah, like there's I feel like there's gonna be so many different ways of saying they're getting closer and you're running away. Like Oh god, I like I I have not heard any of Kyle Allen's music outside of these Bendy songs, but like genuinely these lyrics, man. Uh <laughs> My favorite of theirs is uh Lights On. It's their Secure to Breach song and it's all about sun. And it, it, that one really encapsulates like a lot of personality and charm to it. But yeah, their Poppy Playtime one was one of the worst and so far they're not exactly peaking in the Bendy department. <laughs> Yeah. Someone said, I mean, what can you do for a mobile game? See, that's a great question, but something you can do is just not make a mobile game song. I was going to say, what can you do for a mobile game? Great question. Don't make a song about it if you can't do anything with it. But hey, maybe this will end up being peak. Who knows? This could develop into a Stupendium song. It's possible. Theoretically maybe. speaking. Who knows? Maybe Stupendium will have a surprise. A surprise, surprise appearance <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> Even if he tried to shriek, then he may not even get away. Then he closed his eyes, and when he opened them, he was surprised. <laughs> his roommate <laughs> was <laughs> again. This nightmare world has swallowed oh, no. him. He fought real hard and tried to use his wits so that he could reduce the danger that this place had brought. This was not like anything he fought. Then he was surrounded by the creatures they had tracked him down. Jump to the left, crunch the side. There's no place that he could hide. He it's literally just about running away from something. <laughs> it literally the entire song is Bendy's being chased. Oh no! Oh fuck! <laughs> That'd be such a good name for a song. 
<laughs> Benji is being chased. Oh no, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Like, I love this. Oh my god. Could not understand how he got to this land. All he knows is that his fate is in somebody's hands. How far we ride? How long's the end? I wonder how long he can defend. He went to bed and now he's in his head And now he is on the brink Finding out that there's no way of him getting out the <laughs> It's all the same the flow There's, there's no flow It's the spot. same shit over and over Like <laughs> There's no flow, there's no personality There's no development to it There's nothing <laughs> Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real, I genuinely so far Think this is just a bad song I would have to agree This is This will be our first below C tier Without a doubt like, this is just a bad song. I mean, again, I still will give credit where credit's due. His voice is fine. The production is fine. He's good at making music. That's why. However. Yeah. <laughs> however, when you don't fucking try even. <laughs> it's not even halfway over. <laughs> sure, maybe maybe halfway through it'll become peak. But a minute and 20 seconds is a pretty good tell if a song's good or bad. There's... When it's three minutes long. <laughs> Oh god, let's let's okay, let's let it run, let's let it run. We got this. Even if he tried to shriek, then you may not even get away. Creatures from the ocean deep, inanimated objects made him think. Wondering when this torture ends, the darkness round him just descends. He holds his breath just long enough. The road thus far's been more than rough. Maybe he'll try to close it's his eyes and wake up to his room alive. <laughs> oh, okay, this is where it gets peak. This is where it totally okay. changes okay. and becomes amazing. Here's where it picks up. Next Bohemian Rhapsody. Absolutely. This was actually made by Freddie Mercury's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. hey. Howdy. <laughs> How long is this gonna... Hey, Hang on, what's happened to his fucking voice here? <laughs> Where you go? Thank you, Potato Guy, for the two dollars. What if we did the FGT, FGT, FGTEEV? I don't know what that is. Many songs about Bendy. Um, we're probably not going to be adding more songs realistically, just because we're still going to be here for a couple more hours. So, yeah. But you know what? Hey, if you guys really like this, smash that like button and subscribe, <laughs> and I will convince Zach to join me for a part two one day. I mean, we're gonna be able to be pretty busy this month, so it won't happen soon. But I'll 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 force Zach to uh, join me again. I'll tell him that Alice will be there or something. Let's anyway, go. is it yeah? Is it just me or does the way he say "wake up" sound really strange? It does. It sounds really weird. Uh, wake up, wake up, what the fuck is this? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> This song is bad. Yeah. Bendy, bendy. Boo. 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 He got out. What is his mouth doing? <laughs> this model, man. Look at his mouth. Oh, Lord. All right. I really hope that the person in chat who said, we're only just at the start, feels very good <laughs> about the fact that it was the same song in the other half. <laughs> All right. Since we have some, uh, since we have E between D and F, I don't think it's gonna be F. I think. Yeah. No. I think we can throw it confidently in the E tier. I think that's. Fine. There was still a. There was still some production quality behind it. The music video mm -hmm. looked fine. The instrumental sounded fine. It wasn't like bottom of the barrel garbage. It just. Yeah. And we have bottom of, of the barrel garbage on here. Like it's just the the lyrics. I can't with the lyrics. I don't think there was a single lyric in that song that flowed with another. It just sounded so awkward. I would write something like this in sixth grade. 
<laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. Every single verse was just a, some kind of synonym of Bendy is running, oh man, oh fuck. <laughs> that was amazing. Like, oh, God. Thank you, Mr. Maniac, for the $7. This is like Ice Nine Kills song, Rainy Day, but it's just the Siri sounding run on loop. Uh, question, have you heard of Ice Nine Kills? I have not, but I will check. If I remember, hopefully I do. If I remember that song, I will look it up to see if I could notice what you're talking about. I am familiar with the artist. Never heard their music. Mm, okay. All right, so this was not good. However, after, on our 10th song, we finally have a Dark Revival song. Okay, and I've heard this one. I mm -hmm. like this one quite a lot. Okay. CG5 has really surprised me this stream. And DA Games, both classic and also just talented in general. So I'm excited. Wait, someone said like, ML Spence? Hang on, hang on. I'm pretty sure Spence worked on this one, yeah. Spence! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Finally. Yeah. I, that's actually how I heard about the song was that um, oh, okay. I, I heard about Spence working on it and I got curious. Nice. All right. Let's let it run. I'm hoping for great things with this one. It's a dark revival song too, like show you the truth. I'll show you your purpose chance to pencil and a dream created for entertainment. He lives on through us. Born from darkness, born from us. Cause when we reach the end, we do it all over again. I'm so here for this. Not the visuals. This is cool. No, he said. I already quite like this. It's such a more. It's so much more of a distinct sound, and it works really it, well. And it's such a like eerie vibe. It's so eerie. I was gonna say, I whenever I heard the song, I think this song more than any other Bendy song I've heard sells the sort of like despair that like really comes from the story whenever you start yeah. to really think about it i i really like this aesthetic it's i i really like it Someone's... like this really <laughs> i don't want to be mean <laughs> what's so, up someone said you can tell he's improved i don't want to be mean but like CG5 is talented and he's been talented. I wouldn't say he's improved that much from back in the day to this song because he's just always had that ability. But he just see, chooses to make joke songs that are stupid. See, see, okay, here's my thing, right? Here's my thing. Um, I don't think that this song is such a massive improvement over like other CG5 songs we've heard. I just think this one plays into his strengths better. That's also like, true. We have Masterpiece and S tier because that one had a similar tone to this. When CG5 writes songs with this tone, his vocals fit really well. Yeah. Like, like he has perfect vocals for this kind of song, and it really shows. He's absolutely capable. I just wish he would stop making a song every time a meme happened. Please stop doing right. that. <laughs> yeah, like whenever whenever he tries to make a song that feels like that, that actually like is meant to like provoke some kind of emotion like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. It really it, it it's like really chilling to listen to. Like I actually I actually have goosebumps whenever I watch the music video for this. Yeah, and I I'm I, I'm gonna recommend to you uh, Poison Blooms by him as well. Like I don't think that's on par with the bendy ones we've heard, but like it's really uh it, it's 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 also really cool I think, and it definitely leans more into his uh, a sound that I think works for him. Yeah, I don't know. CG5 is capable, and he definitely has sounds that work with him in particular. But, I mean, he made he made a song about the Smurf cat. <laughs> yeah, like it's hard to it, like it's hard to take him seriously when he does that. But when he yeah. tries making like a serious song with this kind of tone, it hits really hard. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna rewind a little bit because I I just I do really appreciate the sound it's going for. The Ink Demon visuals too. Oh my god. Children of the machine A human in a city Built on broken dreams Follow me We are children oh, of the machine A human in a city Built on broken dreams It's a joyless job When your heart's running empty at the sea after he on stealing up the bar 
singing on a desperate pencil and a dream While the void was filled when you lift to the empty egg That we would sing to the beat of a cockwheel turning Levels to feel the can't be from burning To create this finest design You need a magic darker than mine And a kiss from the angels casting demons down the bottom line So wonderful how deep the love can flow Oh, this is cool. Oh, right? I love this. We're born from darkness, born from a lost cause when we reach the end, we do it all. God, I love the dark revival. This <laughs> is so fucking cool. Like, can I just say, like, Go ahead. this song embodies why I love the dark revival so much as, That's like, a game and a true. story. That's also This true. song... It feels like this song, somebody was able to put into music the the way that the Dark Revival makes me feel as a game. I love this song because, like, nothing describes this game to me more than this song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this is... Man, this is so good. I, yeah. Like, oh my god. I, I can't even really, like, put into words. Like, just the fucking... The feeling this song gives you just from listening to it is crazy this is this is amazing i know follow me we are children of Bro, this God. song is so good. It made me like the Dark Revival more. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's how this, good this song is. This song takes every bit of emotion and tragedy that can be felt in the story of Dark Revival and uses it to create such just like a... Ah, it's hard to even put into words how much I like this song. Would you argue an S-tier? I would. I would argue an S-tier. Two CG5 songs in S-tier. That's crazy! <laughs> Two! <laughs> <laughs> CG5, keep making bendy songs. <laughs> Make your like, own nightmare run, run song for all I care. Like, God, like, again, like, the other bendy songs are such good songs. Like, the other ones that are, like, in our high tiers are such good songs because, like, they're able to capture the vibe. But, like, Children of the Machine is the one bendy song where I'll hear it and I'll just think to myself, like, this is why I love the Dark Revival. This is why this is like a top five game for me. This is why the Dark Revival is like my favorite indie game. It's actually fucking crazy. Like again, yeah, like this song makes me want to play the Dark Revival again because it's also one of my favorites. Um, chat, join me next week for when I re-rank all of my indie horror games on a tier list. Uh, but it's 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 one of my favorites. It's not like top five, and I it is top ten. It's not like top five necessarily, but it's a great one. And it's crazy. It's crazy how much I liked it when I didn't like the first game. <laughs> That's, like, that's just because, like... It's because it's just actually think, like, a really good game. I think it's both because it's a really good game, but, like, Dark Revival tells the story that Ink Machine was trying to, but it tells it in a much more competent and potent way. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, the first game had to happen so we could get the Dark Revival, so, you know. Pastor having the most goofy takes as always. What's goofy about loving the Dark Revival? <laughs> Assuming that's what you're saying, because, like, that's a good fucking game. I don't know. I, they, they're probably just referring to, like, I don't think anything you've said is goofy. They're probably just referring to how much, like, how much emotion you're putting into what you're saying. But that's what makes it amazing at the same time. I just, ah, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, this, the, yeah, that game is incredible. This song, I will be listening to this on my own time without a doubt. I, yeah, this was, this is, like, genuinely beautiful. I love that one. Oh my man, god. That like, was great. Man. Two CG5 songs in S-tier. Oh, Holy. no. Oh, no. Okay, Zach. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
Hey, yo. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> oh my I God. will be what? <laughs> I will be what? Nothing. Shut up. Um. <laughs> All right, this is by Chi Chi, who I actually don't think I've ever heard a song from. They have over 300,000 subs, though. Yeah, this is a Benny the Egg Machine song. When was the game done? Is this like chapter four area? Or is... When was the game done? <laughs> I don't think it was done in November of 2018, right? Uh, Something like that. It was It was close to that. Um, wait, okay. Wait, uh, this is probably like a chapter four kind of deal. Or it might be three because it's about Alice. When did three... I don't fucking know things. Chapter five came out October of 2018. So is this probably... This is before. So this would be chapter four. So this would be chapter four. Okay. All right. It's called Alice's Tango. You will be mine. Uh, we yeah, might I will. have to. We might have to exterminate Zachary after Woo! this. All right. Let's just let it run. Good start. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I remember you said long ago. Would be the star of your show In the end though I see it was lies I've just come back To reclaim what's mine No Boris <laughs> Working here patiently he fucking, between... he fucking flew Man got sent through the wall He was yeeted Come back to reclaim My what's God. mine <laughs> I've been working here patiently Between the lines I do like this like, style yeah, oh my God. Time, but... Was Boris being electrocuted? Yes. That's such. That's just sad. <laughs> His ears are poking through the cap. <laughs> Nevertheless, I've still been through it all, and now they all see I'm a doll. Face it, everywhere you look. That was good. Yeah. That was that was cool. This one's got a really unique vibe to it. I like it. It's interesting. We might like it for different reasons, but yeah, this is cool. <laughs> if, so long as we agree, you know? <laughs> I'm a doll, face it. Everywhere you look around, it's my domain. No one else deserves it more, it's in my name. And if you behave yourself, I'll set you free. It's clear you belong to me. Hey, whatever you say. Um, we got a new, we got a new, uh, to me. We, we got a new Henry. Let you free, it's clear. <laughs> that, what? Henry? We, that, Henry he went, looks so out of place I every know. single time. Henry was like a Chadley old man, now he's just Chadley. <laughs> I like how he, like, I like how since we didn't have a Henry model for the longest time, he just is the one character that conflicts with the art style every time. Like, so much, too. <laughs> Like, that is, that looks so awkward. He looks green screened in. Yeah, but like, this is, I like this song quite a bit so far. I, um, I question if it is something that, like, I would listen to on my own time kind of thing so far, but like, it has a very distinct sound compared to the rest, and it's very, like, eerie, but also, I don't know, it's, it has, it has, I, I can't, I can't really explain this one, but I, I fuck with it. The, the way I'm describing it so far myself is that it sounds like a villain song from a musical. Yeah, I think so. I think that's fair to say. I like it. I like it a lot. You belong to me. Yes. Oh, don't you <laughs> dare mistake me for another fool. I'm the one who pulls the strings, now you're my tool. Don't, don't you say anything. understand <laughs> my little errand I... boy? Here you are. Ah, don't say anything, Zach! Don't this, say anything! This is too much. This is too much. Don't say anything, Zach! <laughs> what? Am I, who is this man? I don't know! Who is this man? <laughs> he looks like a character out of The Last of Us. I was thinking that, too. I was literally thinking the same thing. Oh, man. Aaron boy, here you are. Okay, they're just <laughs> Don't say anything, Zach! They're just trying to get a rise out of you. I 
am restraining myself so much right now. I hope you know that. Ah, uh, God. <laughs> and in due time, my dears, you all will see the perks. Now understand who you're working for. I'm up in heaven, you're on the floor. And soon you'll see I have much in store for you. It's less than a chore. Now this is really good, though. This is great. It is really good. I'm the one who pulls the strings, now you're my tool. Don't you understand, my little errand boy? Here you are, only my toy, and you'll be mine. I like that. Song, Zach. You can make it through the song. <laughs> you can make it through the song. I like how her mouth can barely move to the words <laughs> because of the way yeah, it is. Yeah, I... Like, the teeth on the fucked up side of her face, they're moving just fine, but her lips are struggling. <laughs> I won't let myself be led astray again. I should have known better than to trust a friend. Blinded by the hopes of having dreams come true. Now I know just what to do. Do you know? Let those vermin come to me, just let them try. I'm the angel left, one adores with pride. Exactly. Not specifically. even the devil mm -hmm. can take me down. And for me, and fortune abound. This is really Don't fucking cool looking. This is actually, this video is good too, yeah. I'm the one who pulls the strings, now you're my tourist. Don't you understand my little ass? Honestly, I thought that was just like a really good song. Like that was yeah, genuinely that was yeah. just really fucking good. Thank you, the author, for the two dollars hot woman jump scare. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, at least Zach didn't say it, I guess. But uh, yeah, I actually yeah, I like that more than I thought I would. Honestly, I all I think I might go A on that personally. Yeah, I think that's an A tier. Yeah, A for I, Alice is really hot. Okay, man. <laughs> Look, honestly, mm -hmm. you should be proud of me. I am actually kind of proud of you here. I won't lie. Because <laughs> those lyrics sounded very suggestive at times. Oh, absolutely they did. They used the word caressing for, like, no real reason. <laughs> yeah, like... Oh, okay, this this next song is so peak. Oh, okay, you know this one. Yeah, okay, we got a chapter yeah, this three is one of the this is one of the few I heard. And, like, this one genuinely is such a good time. Okay. All Eyes on Me by Oreo. I've heard of this person. I've definitely chatted... What? Have, do any of you know what we might have heard from them? I feel like we must have listened to something. But all right, let's give it a go. A long time ago, I had my own little show. It was a beautiful, lovable angel. But he took the spotlight shining so bright. Okay, I like it. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> this song is so good. All right. <laughs> this is fun. A devil made from heaven and sent from above. Looks like Henry's got a little day. Let's have some fun. We've got lots to do, little errand boy. Come to me at Cloud To be the perfect angel, some sin must the singer is really good he's so good yeah this is this is really fun it is it's, it definitely has more of like the bendy style and it's 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 working Thank you, the yeah, author, like, for the five dollars. Uh, wait, we can put anything on the desk within reasonable restrictions. Yes, can you do Clyde plush? I got the picture. Yeah, I was gonna say Zach. By any chance, do you have that on hand? <laughs> right. I should have a picture. Yeah. Okay, would appreciate that. But yeah, I'm really liking this. This is uh, this is uh, actually just like, 
a really fun vibe, and I think the vocalist is absolutely fucking killing it, honestly. The, like, th this song, like, if the previous song, like, really highlighted Alice's character and story in a more, like, tragic way, this one highlights it in a much more, like, bendy style. It makes it feel a lot like Electro Swing to me. Right, yeah. It's just a, it's just a fun listen. It just gets better, too. All right. Thank you for the Zach, not the Zach plushie, the Clyde plushie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that was great. <laughs> it's so fun! I really like it. It's so fun! <laughs> Wait, I really like that. She's having so much fun. She's having so much fun. So many experiments, so many mistakes, but I'll go. Yeah, this singer is doing really good. Like, their vocal inflections are so fucking good. I know, like, this, like, I, I always loved the song for just how expressive the singer yeah. is. Like, she is killing it with this. Yeah, this is, this is, this is peak. This is this is, this is pretty fire. Someone said this was her first original song, by the way. That sounds... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure they made plenty of things prior to this, like, privately, but that's still pretty wild. Hang on, let me... Wait, what, what is... Amogus! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, they did... Oh, okay, they've been in the bendy scene forever, though. My God. Yeah, they're, they're fucking killing it. You know, I actually, I'm really glad we listened to these two back to back. Because, like, I feel like they both encapsulate the character in such different ways. Absolutely. Both of them play into, like, what makes Alice such an interesting character, but for completely different reasons. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm loving right now is just, like, how different both songs are. But I feel like they both just, dis like, just completely describe the character perfectly it's really yeah exactly really cool. like th that's what we were saying earlier whenever we were talking about like how bendy songs can really like showcase the story in completely different ways yeah i love when <laughs> i love when uh fan songs do that for sure mm -hmm. That Bendy is a little scuffed, I won't lie. This, he this, is. this guy. He, I, he's doing his best, but he ain't it. <laughs> I think his eyes are weirdly small. His eyes are very, very small. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. I like this. <laughs>
that was really good i really god that. i love that song that was that was that was fun that yeah so good i think that's just a strong a for me what would you say for me it's an s tier but i understand if we have to put it in a i don't know i just for me it's a it's a strong a i'm gonna knock the games down a little bit i think um, it's just it's one of the bendy songs that I actively listen to on my free time because it just sounds so good no that's that's valid I just I don't know for me the ones in s just have a certain level of like creativity to them that like the a tiers don't rival and like I don't know a certain level of quality that for me it doesn't meet but I get that's it fair. and it is still high up there this is a very fun song to listen to a for angel yeah. exactly <laughs> no i think i think i think high a is still very fitting like yeah i think i think the s tier is like i i think the s tiers are either just like insanely creative or like really like evoke a lot of emotion that one's just a really fun time to listen to it's a very fun song i like that this one's alone down here and it'll stay down there i like that it has a layer of dirt between it and c tier <laughs> <laughs> it's like we buried it <laughs> my god okay all right this is the one that i forgot to add because i did this last minute this was suggested to me by uh i'll just take care of this uh this was suggested to me by hit fnaf theorist underscore uh he saw i was doing this and i and he sent this to me and i was like yeah sure why not <laughs> i don't i don't know what this is but it does have 3.9 million, which is more. Which, by the way, I, I haven't been commenting on the views when they're low. This deserves more. Like so much more. Like the some like the this one has 37 million views. This one has 2.9. <laughs> that is like actually a crime. That's just sad. But this one has 3 points and uh, has a lot of people on it. So yeah, I, I'm willing to. Uh, check this one out and give it a chance i am gonna where the fuck i have so many things in my obs okay i'm gonna quickly uh just add this and then we'll uh let it run but yeah this is a last minute ad shout out to underscore go subscribe if you want fnaf stuff because you're not gonna get it from here anymore so you might as well <laughs> <laughs> all right we're good perfect Lost and we will show our preparations and what you know will surely help you flow. You know you'll never swing when the color's gone and everything has signed away. I like this guy's voice. And His voice sounds cool. Yeah. There's a lot of reverb. Uh -huh. in danger, a stranger, he's angered. Your life's on the line, running out of time. All through these halls I would wager your brain. What I will say is because his voice is so dread and reverb, he doesn't sound like... I feel like he's a little too quiet and the instrument, and he's more of like a background to the instrumental than I think he should be. But, yeah. But, I mean, I like the sound of his voice. It's it's very ominous. <laughs> yeah, it, this one's also, like... I find this one interesting because it has the same, like... It has the same, like, swing instruments, but it feels like they're being used to make the song sound sinister instead of, like, fun and bouncy like they normally are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's like using the sound, the same like sound as some of the more like fun and playful ones, but making it dark with it, which is kind of kind of interesting. Yeah, like we haven't gotten that so far. Uh huh. All through these halls, I would wager you're braver, a savior, determined to find and crawl through his mind, seeking for answers with darkened thoughts, blind yet you clearly see us. Praying that you will rise up, wake up and face reality. All right, I think this is pretty cool so far. Mm hmm.
Oh no, I know who's in that window. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. Hey, yo! We can't escape her! 30 years! Okay. Oh my crazy how many different voices Alice Angel can have. <laughs> like, every yeah, right? every Alice Angel singer we've heard so far sounds different, but they all sound like Alice Angel to me. Yeah, they all, they're, they're all, like, very distinct, and yet it's like, yeah, that's Alice. That yeah, sounds perfect. Yeah, that's kinda cool. <laughs> I really like this, actually. I'm liking it more and more. Yeah, this is like just getting better. Okay, are I, you noticing what's happening? It took yeah, it took me a while. Yeah, it, it took me I, way I heard, too long. I heard the all eyes on me and it caught my interest, but I was like, no, that's that might be a coincidence. But no, yeah, this is just referencing a bunch of Bendy songs. Yeah, which is kind of cool. It's a little strange. Um, kind of. It's a weird segment in the middle of it. It feels kind of disconnected from everything. It's else. It's a little bit weird, but I kind of I kind of like it in a way. It's very <laughs> kind of cool. It's, it's kind of cool to hear, and almost like in a way by. In fact, I just want to wait. Let's just actually, you know, let's just go back. Let's just hear, I just want to hear this again. Yeah, this is so weird. That was really cool. I think what I this really song like is that. doing really well is just kind of like encapsulating what Bendy is, which like yeah. it's really hard to do that for such a like like a big series or like a big franchise and making it into one song. But like with all the references to the like to the the incredibly iconic fan made material and that like sp that like monologue, the way they worked that monologue into like song form and the way they had it all build up. Like this just feels like Bendy the song. This which one, is cool. like th this one, more than anything else we listen to, feels like both a love letter to the game, but also all the fan works that spawn from it. Yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of relate. Urfum, don't you dare make that joke. <laughs> so we left a bacon, we left a soup back there. Got to restart now. <laughs> don't, don't do that to me. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, I love the voices here. This is fucking cool. <laughs> Holy shit, the vocals here sound good. Yeah, I was feeling like a B tier for the most part. This might be an A, who knows? Yeah, 
Yeah, that just grew on me more and more with time. Like, at the beginning, I was enjoying it. I thought it was cool. Alice's part was even better. Then there was, like, this weird part full of references. And then there was the fucking monologue woven into it. And then a really cool finish. This was like, this was a roller coaster of feelings. This one really, really evolved over the course of it. And just like, like I said, it feels like a love letter to not just Bendy as a game, but Bendy's community. Yeah. Like, like I liked this. Yeah, like Build Our Machine will always be like the Bendy song, and like others are obviously more like well known than this. But like, yeah, this just feels like the love letter to Bendy. And yeah, I like this is Bendy as a song. Yeah, I would go A personally. Speaking. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say B when we started, exactly, or even yeah. C, but then like it really picked up. Yeah, that was that was really cool. Thank you, Underscore, for suggesting this one. Because <laughs> this wasn't meant to be on here initially. That's cool. Thank you, Meme Man, for the $5. Fun fact, the reason Victor's voice sounds like that is he has a paralyzed vocal cord. That's fascinating. Oh, interesting. interesting. Huh. I don't even really know what that means. <laughs> I don't either, but he sounds cool. But yeah, I mean, I, I, it sounds cool. <laughs> oh, Okay, all right. all right. So chat, this <laughs> might be the end of this one. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Chat, it was good knowing you. We've we've seen code enim on a lot of these, so I'm hoping it was just an issue with the old one. For those of you that weren't here, the last time we listened to a JT music song, the stream got taken down. That's why the stream is called Bendy Songs again. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, again, we've seen a lot of this person throughout this playlist like i know who this is they just hit a million subs they're pretty big so hopefully everything's fine also uh i don't actually know how to say this person's name how do you say this name right here it looks like andrea caden <laughs> andrea caden yeah that's probably it <laughs> they are like all over the place they did join us for a bite which is really cool they did um what makes me tick which is my favorite poppy song they're really good too so i'm quite looking forward to this one and also, we're finally getting some more Dark Revival stuff. I'll Thanks. miss you, stream. <laughs> Shut up! Don't <laughs> jinx it. Uh, Thank you, Mister. <laughs> Thank you, Mister Maniac, for the seven dollars. The song has a slight sequel, actually. It's called Artistic Halloween, and it was meant to be a Dark Revival song before the delay. Oh, okay. We will uh, have to keep that in mind for the part two. <laughs> All right. What is this called? The Details and the Devil. A lot of people have mentioned this one, actually, so let's let it run. Take a peek behind the curtain at my grand design. Any less than picture perfect, and it'll be cast aside. I'm so impatient for it for it. Oh, right. I, I had the volume low because of uh, the end of the last one. Take a peek behind the curtain at my grand design. Any less than picture perfect. Oh, that's a cool visual. This is really cool looking. I love Wilson. Shout out to Wilson. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Whiplash. I was not that, ready for this. I just got audible whiplash. What the fuck? The was actual it? tonal whiplash. Holy hell! <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, hang on. Five, five, five. I didn't love it at first, but it's picking up more, so I'm, I'm liking it more. Bendy! 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 Yeah, I don't know how I feel about one Bendy, one the Ink Demon lip syncing the song, two that fucking eye. 
Like that's I like how they took it from the wandering as a terrible sin sign. Oh, you're right. I wouldn't have noticed that. That's absolutely what that is. Yeah, for sure. Has the ink demon ever been depicted with eyes in official media? Never. He's always had his eyes covered by the ink. Yeah, I thought so. But yeah, at first I wasn't really liking how like kind of like choppy the start of the flow was, but I like that it's picked up more. I'm enjoying it. Absolutely, yeah. It picks up quite a bit. <laughs> this is so weird! This is so goofy. I kind of love it for that. Check the forecast. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> this is cool. The visuals of this are cool. Yeah, the, why is the ink demon like an 80s rock star? I don't know why the ink... Like, it feels so weird seeing the ink demon being depicted as anything but depressed I in Dark Revival. I see, I... I, I, I this, this is, I think you're gonna understand what I mean by this. The ink demon feels like he's being played by Jack Black. <laughs> yes! Absolutely! <laughs> which, which is such a contrast! Which would go so hard. Normally, I think of the Ink Demon, and I think of, like, the edgiest character to ever touch down uh -huh. in the indie horror scene, but, like, I know, this like, version of him is so weird and over the top. It's so fun and playful. I'm actually really enjoying it now. It's actually really funny. like everything we've heard and i really like this part i just question if they really go together <laughs> they feel like two completely different songs yeah you've got an emotional you've got an, an emotional like interlude in between the ink demon dancing around like some weird 80s rock star yeah i i still like the song because again i like both parts but i have to question if the tonal shift is really appropriate. Because <laughs> I Both bet you, these... right after this, we're going to see the fucking Ink Demon hit the gritty and start singing his heart out. <laughs> yeah, like, we're going to go from this, like, part where she's singing so emotionally about, like, this world of ink, and then immediately it's going to cut to the Ink Demon, like, kicking her ass and then flossing. <laughs> I was thinking this, I was literally going to say flossing. <laughs> like... Oh my god. All right. And again, it feels so bizarre because the Ink Demon is like the most depressing, edgy character from any mascot horror game to me. For sure. That's totally fair to say. It's so funny. This is... This is... This is... This is peak. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh my god, why is this? Oh my god. Oh god, it's so weird. 
the juxtaposition is so wild. It's like two songs that are fighting for control. Yeah. Five long nights. Okay. Okay, could like, could like Spunky Eat Ink Demon be like a new fanon character? Like there's the Ink yeah. Demon and then there's his brother. Yeah, that was so something. <laughs> I don't even know how to rank this. Mm. I like it was fun, but like it was so disconnected and weird to me. I think it's still an A, honestly. I, I honestly I do think it it should be like a higher tier definitely cuz it was still a really fun watch. Mhm. Mm yeah, I think A is I think A is fair. Yeah, but it's definitely on the I would say it's on the lower end of A for its incons for not necessarily inconsistency but like well no, tonal inconsistency, yeah. But it's still a great listen. <laughs> God, can I just say now though like this song's genuinely got me thinking, like, do you know how much fun it would be if we got, like, an indie horror game with, like, the main villain acting like that version of Bendy? Bro, absolutely. That would go so hard. <laughs> like, you know what I would give for an indie horror game where the main monster is actually just this, like, playful douchebag that, like, does emotes on you when he kills you? <laughs> it would work. It could, I could tell you see that working if you have, like, side enemies that, like are a part of the main journey, but the final boss is, like, this really playful character. I could totally, totally see that. I would love to see that for something like Mascot Horror, because I feel like Mascot Horror has so much potential to be, like, super lighthearted and fun. I'd love that, because, like, this version of Bendy was so entertaining to watch. Yeah, I would never want it in, like, official Bendy, but, like, I would love something... Never! Some never. <laughs> but I would love something <laughs> like it. Yeah, like, it, th that was, like, part of the reason why I was so, like, taken back by it, because, like, again... Bendy's entire character in, like, in Dark Revival is, like, this super angsty, edgy character who is, like, the personification of evil and is super depressed and hates himself. Mm -hmm. And then you get into this, like, you get into this video and he's, like, flossing and emoting and singing <laughs> his heart out. I could think of the perfect game to pull this off if they were willing to put in the extra effort. Rainbow mm -hmm. Friends. <laughs> Please! I Please. would love that so much. <laughs> I already love Rainbow Friends for how goofy it is. <laughs> I would love that. But yeah. I'd love it if they doubled down on that. Could go hard, honestly. Okay, next up we got two Try Our Ninja songs. Felt like okay. he needed to be included. Um, He's made some songs that... I, he's made some FNAF songs that I actually really like. But there are uh, plenty I think aren't great. <laughs> but for the most I part, just... I, think, I think he knows what he's doing, you know? Can I just say to bend you till you break is such a metal name for a bendy song. True, honestly. Okay, so this is March 2017. Is this chapter one then? This would be chapter one or chapter two. Yeah, this is this is an oldie, relatively. Oh yeah. Someone said hot take. The average bendy song is better than the average FNAF song. I don't know if that's the hottest take. I think we've uh, kind of. I feel like we've definitively proved that. <laughs> I feel like that's just a fact. I feel like we've definitively proved that. Also, hey, hey, sir, fifty-five. There's only been one bendy song we've listened to so far that I genuinely think is a bad song. Mm-hmm. I have okay. I am noticing a lot of people have told me have said we need to listen to. Are you proud of me now? I don't know what that is, and I never found I, I don't know i never saw that but a lot of people have said it but hey maybe that's how i'll tease you fuckers for a part two <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy instrumentals this is so not bendy core <laughs> sounds like a geometry dash level <laughs> I don't know. How are you feeling about this sound? How are... I don't really like it. <laughs> I, I can't get into it. <laughs> it sounds like every single other Try Hard Ninja song ever. 
Yeah, I definitely think we've made this. We've we've talked about this with CG Five about how some more ambition could definitely help with that with them. I think that applies to Try Hard Ninja a lot more. Actually, I think Try Hard Ninja has a really hard time being experimental. The only time I can think that he did, from what we've heard, is my favorite from him, a song called Dance to Forget. It's a much more eerie kind of style where he has a different vocalist on it. This, this one, yeah, it just sound, I, I feel like I've heard this so many times. I've heard this every single time I've listened to one of his snap songs. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, like, Try Hard Ninja kind of makes some good songs, but, like, so much, of, so much of his songs just sound like the exact same song. Yeah, I definitely think that's that's an issue. <laughs> okay. All right. For one, this feels out of place. For two, it also feels out of his place to me. I'm kind of realizing I don't know if his voice really suits this style. I don't know if he has enough of an aggressive sound to his vocals. Can I just say too? You remember how earlier we were praising Build Our Machine for having so much content in the song, despite only being made for Chapter One. Mm-hmm. This one. This one right here just makes Build Our Machine more impressive to me because this one shows just how little there is to talk about in Chapter 1. There's really little to work with. Like, this is, like, the lyrics and the actual, like, story of the song, it's such a nothing burger. There's nothing. It's, like, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's just Bendy talking about, oh, I'm real now and I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, for me, this is kind of like Kyle Allen... Um, just in like an entirely different style where like you can tell Trio Ninja is a competent musician. There's like a level of, there's like a certain level of quality here that I know, I know he's going to reach the standard of, but like, it does feel like I've heard this so many times. I feel like he doesn't really know what to put in the song. He doesn't really have that much creative endeavor here. You know, I think it's, it's kind of similar issues. Yeah. Thank you. Slim Java for the $5 chat. I need ear bleach. Okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. I don't think it's good, but I don't think it's like, oh, my ears are bleeding. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that later. Don't you worry. Thank you, Meme Man, for the $5. This gives off the energy of a trap remix of the Witch Doctor song rather than Bendy. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Y'all in chat are being so much meaner to this song. Like, come on. I don't think it's that good, but like, Come on, guys. It's, my ears it's, are not bleeding. I've heard worse. Like, a lot of you are probably, like, new here for this stream. If you were here for the... F like, I've ranked over 100 FNAF songs. You should imagine... You, you can't even imagine some of the shit that's in there. We did a Ban Ban songs tier list. You could not... You cannot even fathom the shit that, the, that exists in this world. All uh, right. Boy. Let's go. Ben, you tell you ben uh... Sorry, try out Ninja Jump Scare. There is something about Bendy pulling a pipe off the wall to beat you with, and then suddenly it turns <laughs> into a cane that he's dancing with. True. Like. <laughs> uh, thank you, Devil Within, for the $7. A few years ago, I critiqued this song saying this is more a Try Our Ninja song than it does a Benny song, and he didn't like that. You spoke to Try Our Ninja. You critiqued this too, Try Our Ninja? What did you mean by this? Okay. Sat him down in, in the office <laughs> and told him, hey, look, buddy. But yeah, I don't really I don't really love this song so far. And it doesn't, you're right, it doesn't feel like a Bendy song because he didn't really know how to work with the material. <laughs> because there was very little material, but you know. Ch chapter one did not give you much materials, and this one really shows it. Mm-hmm. This is really weird. It's so jarring. Like, okay, I'm sorry, I have more to say. Like, not only does this not feel very creative, I feel like he didn't even know what he was doing with it. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this song is the definition of building the ship as it's sailing, because he got to this part where he's like, okay, we're going to have Bendy pull the pipe off the wall, and he's going to talk about he's going to beat you up. But this is a game about a funny cartoon character, so we'll have him start dancing like a funny cartoon character. Yeah, I know, it's so weird. Someone just said Streisand Effect is the only good band band song. I almost want to time you out for that because that song is so fucking atrocious that it makes me actively angry. Break. 
Prince. You know, I'm, that's something I'm realizing. I wonder if he just made. I thought Andy was on the toilet for a minute. <laughs> it so looks like it. Uh, something I'm realizing is, I wonder if he just came up with this title and was like, "Man, I have to do something with this." <laughs> it really feels like the title came first and then everything came after. Because as a YouTuber, I totally get it. Like, <laughs> sometimes you just have that really good title in mind, even though it doesn't really work. Like, yeah, man man had the idea for the title and built the entire song around it. He's like, I gotta work this title into everything about the song. <laughs> Which isn't much. <laughs> yeah, no. Projected nightmare it looks like he's on the toilet. It really looks like he was taking a shit. Boris. You're drowning in black ink. That might be the worst Boris model yet. It's so funny. The switch and watch your cold reality twist. Our affliction wears you down. Then we'll see who's laughing now. Demonic grin stalks in black and white. Against our cruel masters, we will rise. With oh, each God, the models. torment. Moralize your chance. Now it's our turn to control and watch you burn. Don't make him talk. He's already ugly. <laughs> that doesn't look... That, okay. that looks so half-baked. It's so weird. This is so ugly. It's still going. It's still going, yeah, don't you worry. We got at least a full minute left. Oh my god. What is he talking about? <laughs> He's trying so hard to provide any form of substance to chapter one of Bendy, and it shows. What is he talking None of these lyrics have anything to do with Bendy. What is he talking about? Like, is Bendy going to take over Manhattan? The world? <laughs> Bendy took over the whole tri-state area. Bendy going to conquer the planet? <laughs> He's going to bend Earth till it breaks? He's going to bend Earth. Till it breaks. Oh God. Painted black ring your rage until our worlds are the what same. Your truth bend. It sure does bend, black man. Everything's bend. The only thing you had to work with was the name Bendy. I know. Then you till you break and I'll make me shake. Bring me to your world. Hi AJ. I don't even think this chorus is good at all. It's not. It might be the best part of the song. Which is sad. But it's not much. What the fuck? <laughs> Dance to forget is amazing. I'm not even letting the instrumental play out. That was really hard to sit uh, through. Dude, the song is just it's it's almost like 5 minutes and it is the most it does not justify it. It is so repetitive. I'm just going to put it here. Can we, can we agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's fine. Cuz like, like it's it's not good. I almost want to be generous and bump this one up. Because where this one had nothing to say, this one was this one had nothing to say and was hard to listen to. Genuinely, yeah. At least I was able to sit through the Nightmare Run song. Yeah, and I can almost enjoy how funny it is. You know, this one's not even funny. Yeah. Like <laughs> just with the Try Hard Ninja one, I actually was struggling to finish it because it was the same thing over and over again. It was so insanely repetitive. I felt like I heard the entire song at the start. Yeah, I'm I'm totally content with that. And also, chat, we're leaving F tier open for a reason. Um. <laughs>
Yeah, okay, okay. I am dreading that. All right, so this is March 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Only a month? Uh, wait! Oh, uh, wait, wait, what? Wait. Hang on, okay, hang on. Well, hold on, hold on, I'm checking something, I'm checking something. I am also checking it. <laughs> Wait, okay, wait, check the release date of the video. Chapter 2 wasn't out yet! This is another Chapter 1 song! He made another Chapter 1 song! He made two songs about Chapter 1! Why, though? <laughs> How? Okay, literally, the, your, the first song is proof <laughs> enough that there was not enough content in Chapter 1 to make one song! Why? <laughs> what was the point? Didn't even, like, this is a lot of views for, like, someone, le like, for us, maybe, but, like, relative to his other songs, it's not even, like, a considerable, a considerable amount of views. Man was investing in the Bendy hype early. I guess we hadn't gotten a FNAF game for almost a year, so I guess that's what it was. <laughs> Man saw Bendy and he's like, I need to make as many songs as possible right now. This is gonna blow up. God. This, 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 uh, this, okay. It could be better, though. Could be. He, he, it, maybe, maybe he made another chapter one song because he's like, ah, oh, shit, I could have done so much better. I have so many ideas now. Maybe this is based on like a demo of chapter two. <laughs> maybe it's a demo of chapter two, or maybe he just found that one part of chapter one that was like really <laughs> awe inspiring. <laughs> to be fair, he did manage to go. This song is called The Dancing Demon. He did go pretty much the whole song last time without even talking about the Ink Demon. So. Yeah. He just talked, he just made a pun about Bendy's <laughs> name and had it about World Conquest or something. All right. Like, <laughs> let's, okay, let's, okay. Let's go. Okay, we can do it. We can we do it. This. What? Better start. That already sounds what like a cartoon. What the fuck is this? Okay. okay, this is interesting. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, this is already much better, honestly. Yeah. Okay, I can enjoy this. Yeah, okay. I can calm down. I can relax. Chorus is a little off. <laughs> this is if Soldier Boy made a fucking bendy song. <laughs> so, yeah. oh I don't God. really like the chorus, but I, I I enjoyed the first verse. So we're we're on a, like, we're on a small uphill at the very least. I liked it when he said you <laughs> you. It's really, you you it's really you funny. Want the dancing demon you yeah. It's still not great, but it's it's I'm enjoying it a lot more. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm almost wondering just by how this sounds and how the last one sounded and how much how bad the last one was. I'm wondering if he like realized I made a Bendy song that feels like it has nothing to do with Bendy, and then he like tried really hard to make something that sounded like Bendy. I really do think that's what happened. I think his original song was so not bendy that he was like, shit, I need to do this again. <laughs> okay, he is still just talking about what happens in chapter one, though. <laughs> there Jack, because what is there to talk about? <laughs> there are these parts. You need them. Go get them. They power up. <laughs> I really want one of these chapter one songs to be like, Fetch Quest! <laughs> chapter three song. No, fetch your Quest, fetch quest, quest for fetch the quest. demon. <laughs> I want to write a song called Fetch Quest now. <laughs> Walking simulator. Come <laughs> on, say you again. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Come on! <laughs> What the fuck? What? I'm on what? acid. No, no, bring it back. Bring it back. Why am I on drugs? drugs me. Why am I on drugs? Oh, 
Oh, there was something in the ink! What the fuck? Bear witness to your horn uh, creation as he follows you. Okay. The snapping and toe tapping in the old projector room. The tension levels rising high like pressure in a gauge. Because the moving pictures All right. are I, I like this part. Brains. I can enjoy so this. An take the swing. The fun has now begun. Oh no, my friend, it's not the end. We're just on chapter one. The song created a lot to us. The sickness replicated. Why did he have to mention chapter you know one in the song? Like yeah, he did just do that, didn't he? That somehow, like, almost went over my head. That is somehow worse to me than, like, a FNAF song saying the title of a FNAF game. Yeah, throwback to, like, in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. It feels like that. Yeah. But almost worse, because Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is a game. Chapter 1 is a fraction of a game. Like, he really just pointed out the lack of content. <laughs> Thank you, Octo Joker, for the two dollars. These ink edibles ain't shit. Oh, <laughs> so many people, so many people made the joke. What was in that bacon soup? That yeah, that's bad. I hate that lyric. That's bad. <laughs> the second you is worse. The second you is much worse. Why is it so funny sounding? <laughs> oh, this is a part of the, like... Oh, God. I didn't realize they repeated this part. They spiked the bacon soup again! What the hell, Bendy? <coughs> this feels so out of place. It's so wrong! And it's lasting longer this time! There's another minute? What do you mean there's another minute? I know. Like, I'm glad I'm not the only one who felt like this song has been taking an eternity. <laughs> God, okay. I mean, this is like a good end. However, I think we're gonna get another U. Please. No, it's the psychedelics. It's more dubstep. I mean, a, a, a chunk of that was pretty okay. I still don't like this song. I only have the dubstep parts when they mix an old timing sounding music with it. Like right here. This is better. But I think that's cool. CG5 did it better, and I never thought I'd say that CG5 sentence. CG5 did it way better. Okay, yeah, that one wasn't good either, but it was better. Okay, what's in our C tier? It's not on, I think it's D. <laughs> I think it's D. But I, I'd put it top. I think it's, I don't know, I, mm, I don't know, it's low. It's better. I it's think it's better. better, because, I mean, I think it's barely better, because I feel like it's low points are lower than this. But its high points are higher. Absolutely, yeah. I think this is fair. At All least right. I can listen to some of the lyrics of it too and not want to claw my eyes out. You're not wrong. D for drugs. Yep, you're you're so real for that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. We're making it close to the end. Oh my god, it's a furry. Um Oh, I actually like Chaotic Canine Culture. I know yeah. They were on one of the ones we listened to. I don't they made a name. they made a FNAF song I really liked. Yeah, I, I know them from the uh, FNAF stuff. 
Okay, I don't remember which one it was, but they they featured on one of the ones we've listened to. Yeah, they made a they made big. too far and they made a FNAF three song I really like. Yeah, so hopefully this will be fire. I don't know. I've got why. high hopes. Anything will be better, right? Where right? is this from? Right? Okay, so this is like chapter four area, I believe. Yeah, this this would be around chapter four. Recording gold. Let's hope that's what they were doing when they made this song. I hope so. It's a furry. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, this is irrelevant to the song, but I love this guy. Look at Look how at adorable him. he is. Mouts. <laughs> Mouts. <laughs> Oh it's my Stan God. Lee. But in quick around Joey's heart and grabbed him by the hand. Oh, down to the cellar. When our soul can be found. Whispering in the Oh no, Joey. The infant was clever. His smile was a shroud. But no one could be trusted. For you. Why did they animate the recording booth? <laughs> okay. Who are these people? Strange choice. Am I supposed to believe that's Susie Campbell? I know, I think. Well, well maybe. Okay, I thought they were just doing literal self inserts. I, I'm assuming it's supposed to be Susie whenever she was still human. Oh, okay. I, I genuinely thought they were just doing like actual self inserts. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 maybe. No, yeah, you, no. I mean, you, like, I don't know why they had Stan Lee as a stand-in for Joey Drew. Yeah, I don't know. You're definitely right, but yeah, that caught me off guard. <laughs> it makes sense, though. I am enjoying this. I think it has a really unique style. I really like the, Absolutely. I really like the aesthetic it's going for. It's, it's very, hard to describe even like what it sounds like yeah. to me, but I like it. Yeah, and it's very different. It's cool. Lore, but <laughs> what was that? I said that wasn't even true in Bendy lore, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Was it not? I don't know. I don't know these things. There was two guys who were responsible for the music, but I mean, like, hmm. I don't expect everyone who writes these songs to be a huge Bendy nerd. <laughs> yeah. What? Someone in chat said, look away, Pastra, when Alice <laughs> screamed. Oh, God. I like, I, I like the reputation I have where the moment Alice shows up on screen, I just become some rabid animal. They expect you to go fucking feral. Like yeah. the second she does anything. But yeah, I'm enjoying the style of the song. It's not one of my favorites by any means. I'm not loving it, but I think it's just, yeah. it's, it's a nice little listen. I think this one's pretty mid. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Okay. This, uh, this, is, this is also off putting. <laughs> I kind of like the contrast of showing them human first and then having their ink versions that, later. That it is, it is actually cool. But uh, it's, it's always jarring to see to me. I don't know. Yeah, it is weird. I'm really afraid of this chat. Check the top comment on this video. Trust. 
Do I trust them? I'm curious. <laughs> it was so worth it. <laughs> CG5 says Stan Lee's my favorite character in Bendy. Oh my god. All right. He's real for that. He's so real for that. Oh my god. God. CG5 having all the W's tonight. I know. CG5 just needs to become like the Bendy song guy. Jesus Please. Christ. Now, this might be our final game, but we're recording go now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We sacrifice. Who are these people? Uh, I don't really like that lyrics. Yeah, I think it's I think it was kind of stupid. Just checking in to see how y'all are doing. Yeah, a little confused, but it's the guy. I love seeing Boris play the trumpet. What are you? What are you thinking? I think that is a solid C tier. I was thinking the same thing. I think that's totally fair. Uh, I'm going to put it in the middle. You, you feeling good about that? Yeah. I, I, I think I think the middle of C tier is a very good placement for it. I think that's fair. All right, so chat. Now, <laughs> we're reaching into the golden era. Not really an era. We're reaching into the peak of the stream, okay? Oh. It doesn't get better. That's what you could this. call it. Uh, we have the grand finale as the finale, of course. But next up we got... I don't actually know what this sounds like. It could actually be fine. But next we got Bendy Land by Horror Skunks. Oh, boy. So Horror Skunks, of course, makes peak videos such as Opila Bird's Sad Origin Story. There's no way this is the same creator. Which, by the way, has 30 million views. There's no way. I didn't realize that this was the same person. Oh, you didn't? Oh, well, that's what I we're talking I didn't realize. Can I just talk about how good this video is? It's really fucking weird. This video is, like, ridiculously good. <laughs> like, this is movie quality. Like, I'm not even fucking kidding. <laughs> Why did they make this? Coach Pickles, I'm not a monster. Nab Nab, I'm not a monster. Ban Ban Sad Origin Story. That is who we're talking about here. So... <laughs> This is Bendy Land, their official Bendy song. <laughs> I'm scared. I have no idea what it sounds like, but you know what? It could be fire. I'm so scared. Sonic? Oh, they're okay. They're in our car. Bendy. I know that guy. Hey there, you, my friend. Well, call me Bendy Land. Let me tell a story that you should be. <laughs> oh no. If you don't listen, you will get blood, blood, blood. Oh. What the fuck does oh, no. that mean? <laughs> hang on, hang on. If you don't listen, you will get blood, blood, blood. If you don't listen, you will get blood, blood, blood. Oh, this is oh, fire. This, this song is giving off like. Like this, the song's giving off the friggin' like um, Johnny Johnny vibe, but for Bendy. <laughs> You're so right about that. And the funny thing about Horror Skunks is their video production quality is again, it's actually like staggering. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why it's as good as it is. It's kind of worrying. Their music quality, though, I don't know anything about. Actually, can we like okay? Instruments are by this person. That's the location. Oops, doxing. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea who does, like, the music side of things. We have listened to one song of theirs. It was their Opila Bird song. I think it was called Boom, 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 which is actually 
eerily similar to Blood, Blood, Blood. But oh, yeah, this this is. Oh, this, I feel the life draining from me already. This is amazing. So there is a thing that I really need to tell. 1966. This date has no significance. Okay. I came from very far away, a paper on the shelf. My creator did abandon me, and now you need to help. Follow me to my in machine, or else there will be. I have a lot of questions about this situation. This is an arcade. That guy was clearly just playing games. No one's seen this fucking ink creature walking around before? No one's seen this machine before? What is the premise? He's He's also very casual about this ink creature asking him for help randomly. I have so many questions. Hi, Go Motion. <laughs> Hi, Go Motion. Astra, talk about my songs. We have before Better you. than this. <laughs> You're true. We've talked about your songs before, actually, on the FNAF songs here list. I believe the, um, you have Bendy, what are you talking about? You have Bendy songs? This is literally news to me. I've only heard FNAF once. Huh. Well, uh. hey. Guys, hit that like button for a part two. <laughs> oh, part good. two will cover go motions on the tier list. Of course, of course. I hadn't. I. I can't. I. I. I don't know. I've heard uh, all of go motions FNAF songs. We ranked those on the tier list, and they did like a Delta Rune like remix semi recently, something like that. I just, oh, I, I love. I love that remix. Yeah, I remember listening to that. I remember it being pretty cool. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're in this right now, so this is what we have to deal with, so. Why is the English on, like, a go-kart racetrack? Wait, what? Yeah, what is it on? It's on a go-kart racetrack. Oh, it is. Oh, it literally is. Did he fucking right. carry it there? Did this little fucking ink child just walk it over there? Is that his cart? Is that his cart? Is he gonna drive it? <laughs> Let's find out. How does it feel to be alone now? Why is he so obsessed with blood? Why is the guy only now scared of the living cartoon character? Yeah, I don't... Whatever. After he said, blood, 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 he went along with it. But now that he's just singing blood, now he's scared. <laughs> he clicked in what blood means. Thank you, Floofy, for the two pounds. I know the symbols. Desolate Hallway by Advocate Music is a bop. Okay, I'll, I'll go back and, like, look at your super chatted suggestions and, like, add them later on. Because, again... We're not going to be adding anything this time around, I don't think. Be on your hands. I'm really tired of hearing the word blood. I'm so tired of it. Just make it flow like ink. Hey there, you, my friend. Well, call me Bendy Land. Let me... Did they ever play Bendy? You know it doesn't take place in an arcade, right? I was going to say, this literally has nothing to do with Bendy in any conceivable way. I'm so confused. My guess would be is they do only live action stuff, so they needed a location. But, like, anything, like, literally just a fucking, like, a fucking storage unit would have made more sense. Anything. Like... <laughs> some some guy's random office where he's doodling on paper. Yeah, rent an, like, rent an office space. Surely that's something you can do temporarily. Like, you got a whole arcade. You got a whole fucking arcade for this, which doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. I have no idea why you're thinking something's wrong. Please follow my steps. Don't think you don't belong. I can't believe it's taken me this long to say this. Bendy's voice doesn't exactly uh, make me think of Bendy. <laughs> no, he sounds so wrong. <laughs> Actually, where is there a location on their about page? Oh, right. Yeah, Netherlands. Okay. I was going to say, Bendy also sounds like he has an accent to him. It's really it's mm -hmm. really interesting to hear Bendy sound this way. Bro, they should have just gotten MatPat. Should have just gotten MatPat. A.K.A. Zach. Anyway. Yeah. I'll make sure I'll you blood. I'll make sure you blood. I will make sure you blood. Oh, man. Oh, that's, oh, that's so good. Listen and I'll make sure you blood. How does it feel to be alone now? <laughs> be what the fuck? What is happening? Sacrifices must be made. Just make it flow like ink. 
This is the worst you, thumbnail I've ever seen. <laughs> there is so much I hate on the screen there right now. There are so many things I hate. There are so many things I hate on screen. <laughs> Gosh, Pickle Skibbity Toilet, David Barron, and whoever that TV is. Like, uh. it's actually like they concentrated everything I could possibly <laughs> hate into a single screenshot. That's so funny. All right. Now, it will get worse than this, but are we just going to throw this in F anyway? Yeah. I think that's fair. It was so bad. All right. So, you know how we've been saying, you know, that, um, you know, all these, like, Chapter 1 songs have, like, no substance at all and that guarantees them to be bad? Well, this is called Bendy and the Ink Machine Song Chapter 1. <laughs> oh, God. And it's, and by, it's by this absolute fucking legend. It's amazing how they still upload minimum monthly but have not gone up in quality. Literally oh, nothing has oh changed no. in like the last eight years. They oh, have God. not increased in quality ever. And they have uh, nope. three point, pretty much 3.7 million subscribers. How has this channel stood the test of time? Also, yeah, their biggest songs, I don't know if people know, their biggest songs are Jurassic Park songs. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I, at one point, whenever I, like, first started watching the Predator movies, discovered that they made a musical for Predator 2. This is the truly infamous one. Oh, God. This is... I mean, I guess Story of Undertale is probably the truly infamous one, but this one is... something. Please. So let's hear their please. Bendy Chapter 1 song. <laughs> Isaac, please. <laughs> let's do it. I can't wait. The dread I feel right now. Trip drop. <laughs> oh god. I used to work in <laughs> the Ouija Studios. Slouched over a table, spending hours to animate. I came back. Did he just say what I think he said? What did you think? <laughs> Slouched over a table, spending. Okay, it's not. Never mind. Don't worry about what I heard. Um, can I just say again, the fact that like this is six years ago. They have not gone in up in quality since. Like, their videos it, and production is not better than this. This looks like their newest upload. Literally. <laughs> and their thumbnails are all the same, too. Thank you, I know. TN Teenager, for the two, I assume that would be New Zealand dollars. Anyone count the times blood was said in the song? Eh, that'd be too much work. <laughs> There's too many of them. But yeah, this song is just going to sound like all of their other songs. Work here at Joey Drew Studio. <laughs> Slouched over a table, spending hours to animate. I okay, I'm just gonna say what I thought I heard. When he said spending hours, I thought he said spreading ass. <laughs> because, again, with that FNAF 3 song, that's something they would say. That is no, something yeah, they would say. That actually was an addicted to guards type beat. But also, tell me hours sounds like hours here. I can't Slouched over a table, spending hours to animate. I don't. Oh, yeah, you're so right. <laughs> anyway. I came back, I was invited. Soon after I arrived, I knew something was wrong. Deserted, <laughs> but there was an evil presence, felt the hate. <laughs> also, all of their songs just feel like rambling. <laughs> like, da 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 da. Oh, God, I'm almost out of time. Da 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 da. <laughs> It literally, it's so funny. at no point, at no point did they ever consider, like, the lyrics to be song lyrics. They just wrote sentences and just sang the sentences. God, this has almost, oh, sorry, no, they have over 7 million more views than Children of the Machine. Don't make me sadder, please. <laughs> Bars! The bars! I feel like the chicken in Robot Chicken right now. <laughs> this is so good. 
the machine is dancing. Why is the machine dancing? It's so good. Find the mutilated corpse of Boris the Wolf. <laughs> I need to find six pieces to start a beat. It's amazing how every chapter one song, aside from Build Our Machine, talks about fetch quests. Bro, this is why Build Our Machine was so popular, because it actually wrote a song, instead of just explaining how the game worked. Like, why do songwriters for these horror games think that explaining the game mechanics in their song is fire lyrics? Oh, God. Thank you, Octajoker, the $5. It doesn't even sound like he's singing, only speaking in autotune. Literally, that, that's all of their songs. Thank they just speak and then auto-tune it. Literally. Thank you, Potato Guy, for the $2. At least he's better than 3Lame. After this, I am going to look up Bendy 3Lame, actually. <laughs> Maybe not on stream, because, I don't know, he likes to fuck with shit like racism every now and then, so I would be a little worried to do so. But Yeah. <laughs> but I, would, I really want to see if that's a thing. Anyway, let's let's hear him explain how the game works. Yeah, he finds that corpse. Yeah, find finds six pieces. Yep. <laughs> He's actually just explaining the game. Cause that's all there is. <laughs> He's explaining the part. He said He's every object. <laughs> He's named every object. Look at I that would... bendy plush. My God. I would be generous to these songwriters and be like, oh, chapter one didn't have too much to write about. Not you this might guy, have no. to explain mechanics, but like, first of all, not this guy. And second of all, Build Our Machine is proof that you could make something. Yeah. It's, it's, oh man, it's wild. This is so good. <laughs> I've got all of the pieces that I need, at least I think. Now what? I can what did that mean? Oh, okay, just... I've got all the pieces that I need, at least I think. He's it... literally just talking and auto -tuning. It's like he's actively trying to make the song sound worse. <laughs> it's like he is playing the game for the first time and recording his reaction, and then he made that the song. You gotta love, it's too, so how, good. like, this lyric, the at least I think feels like it was literally thrown in there to purposely <laughs> make it sound worse. I know, it's so dumb. The pieces that I need, at least I think. What? Okay. No questions there. Watch for that jump scare. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> this is amazing. Watch for that Bendy's jump scare. Bendy is an ink covered demon. This is my favorite song. This is I the best cannot one wait until the lyrics start saying the walls are yellow. <laughs> the ink is black. Tapes. Oh, there's a lot of tapes. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. Watch for that jump scare. <laughs> Bendy's an ink covered demon. <laughs> Why did this happen? It's not fair. <laughs> Me listening to the song. The true. Oh, the who thought this was a good idea? I mean, it doesn't sound that much worse than it normally does. <laughs> but, like, whose executive decision it was, was it to actually just put the singer underwater? I would love to know as well. <laughs> actually, wait, are there, like, credits to this? This has to be one guy, right? Yeah, it's just one person. Uh, thank you, Vent Bent, for the $2. Please, no more. This hurts. I hate to break it to you, but we got quite a bit more. <laughs> It probably just it's probably just gonna repeat though realistically. And I hate it, I'd be rated, should have never messed with the cult spells. I oh fuck. Ow, my eyes. Oh no. Uh seizure warning. Major seizure warning, apparently. Like I cannot stress this enough. Major seizure warning. <laughs> Who made this decision? Okay. Alright, I thought it was gonna keep going, so it's, it's okay. I fall through the book. Okay, I'm not gonna go back to where the lights flash, but. I'm so glad, though, he hasn't yet said walls are yellow, ink is black. Okay. Lots of ink. You saying walls are yellow. I need to check if this guy ever made a backroom song. We need to check that. Uh, oh god, he definitely did. Has black ink it pours? 
I fall into the broken floor. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. What the fuck is happening here? The, what, what, huh? He, he actually ran out of so many ideas that he just made the next part of the song no. Yeah, not only did yeah, not only did he run out of ideas for the song, he just made it say no. He had nothing to do for the vi with the video for that. So he went like back in time. This is way earlier. And Bendy is now small and evil trying to kill him. Okay, this is also seizure warning. <laughs> My god. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, I, he was so fucking proud of, like, this rhyme that he just made it the chorus. Yeah, like, even though this song doesn't really have a chorus. This is the closest thing we got, yeah. I debated so we faded. Joey Bader should have stated he created hell. <laughs> it's not even good. It's like... not. That was. I like. So Thanks for good. watching. That was no, so good. screw you. I hate you. That was. Oh man, that was. That Can was... we make a separate tier for that one? Just called hell. Uh, I, I got a similar idea. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! Why? Why uh, are you doing this? So everyone, this is the Bendy songs too. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is amazing. <laughs> it is actually so astounding to me that we listen to this in the same stream as Children of the Machine, Art of Darkness, Build Our Machine, Masterpiece, All Eyes on Me. Like, <laughs> we listen to that in the same stream as all of those, like, genuine masterpieces of songs. Oh, God. No, yeah, I, I, but yeah, we'll, uh... Sad face. <laughs> Yeah, like skull emoji. All right, this oh. is the tier list. <clears throat> I'm dying. This is this was amazing. My God. All right, so <laughs> I I am like really happy with how this went though. Like again, like a couple of these, I'm gonna be listening to in my free time for sure. God, I am going to listen to Art of Darkness and Children of the Machine after this stream. Mm -hmm, for sure. I also want to re-listen to Masterpiece. So good. I also want to re-check out I Face still, Reality, honestly. I am still, like, so proud of the fact that CG5 made two bangers that got an S tier. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> I'm so... And also, so proud. And also, uh, DA Games and CG5, I really like the way they had, like, both of their, uh... I, I like that, uh... They they found a way to make both of their sounds mesh really well. That's something I really appreciated about Children of the Machine. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It was great. Yeah, you gotta love how you gotta how, love how of the four songs in S tier, three of them are CG five and DA games. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. And then Stupendium is just crazy. Stupendium is just actually the best. <clears throat> Thank you, Slim Java, for the five dollars. Okay, one for part two. Can we get instruments of cyanide? All right. Also, can Children of Machine unironically be put in peak tier? <laughs> uh, sure. Why, why not? You, you paid for it, so why not? <laughs> peak. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I was really happy with how this went. I think we're gonna be done here. Um, I will look at. I will look through the super chats and make sure I keep track of all the ones people wanted to see that were not here. Um, I think we're done though. It's been a while. It hasn't been that long necessarily. We've done longer streams, but I think this is a fair place to end. We ended with the best song, obviously. So... I hate everything. <laughs> but yeah, let's get the end of this stream. Thank you so much, Zach, for joining me. I appreciate it a lot. Of um, course, yeah. I always have to be here. Uh, any uh, any closing words? Um. Uh, I I I like I like Bendy. Um, 
It, I, I like Bendy. Mm-hmm. Children of the Machine was really good and peak and make me emotional. Mm-hmm. Um, the 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 Bendy Chapter One musical makes me want to claw my eyes out with a rusty spoon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a rusty. Spoon. Um, and watch my critters video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, check out the critters video. That's that's out now. Um, yeah. All right, that's gonna be all from us. Thank you so much for everything. We'll do a part two someday. I'll convince Zach. And uh, I'll make sure we have some peak ones ready for that. Um, and also, uh, next week, uh, well, okay, well, tomorrow, I have a stream about Poppy Playtime stuff for the two-year anniversary of Poppy. That is tomorrow. Um, and also Friday, I put myself through pain and agony once more for the Ultimate Ban Ban Marathon 2. <laughs> it will be awful. <laughs> But oh, next week, God. we're doing the FNAF songs tier list, part four, because you guys won't shut up about it. We're doing it. And also, we're re-ranking my indie horror games tier list, which is over 100 entries full now. So plenty of cool stuff. Make sure you're there. Subscribe if you're from Zach. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.